American results, we feel relatively well positioned about our position to execute pricing. Fuck. Hey, 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 hey. How's everybody doing? Um, I saw that Shani went live, so I decided to jump on here real quick. Don't know how long I'm going to stay on, but we'll see what she's having to say today. It looks like the same old boring shit, but who knows? Yeah, this, this is, this, see, now, the question is, is, will Republicans just Hey, Mandalorian, hey, blind, pizza, my pizza. All this? Of course they will. How are you guys doing today? Because it's, it's capitalism. But it's messed up, man. The, this imbalance is so... It's like that. What's up, Sarah Penn? Mm -hmm. Hi, Scott. Like, Hi, Catherine. The scale is Hi, broken. Whitney. Yeah. Nine like, lives, people like Katie. Musk. And I'm not anti-wealth at all. Of course, I, I had money. Hi, I, I'm not anti-wealth at all. Hi, Chipper. But Hi, people Nina. like Musk. Hi, and, Josh. And, and, Hi, Floxy. And, and, and Bezos. Hi, Sarah and I know Bork. they do charity. They Hi, do. Hi, Adoption Mommy. But, but holy shit. This is Hi, so evil. What's up, Pain Lash? This is so evil. It's it's about greed. It's not about feeding people anymore. Like I am, I am pro capitalism, of course, as a conservative. Hey, I'm justice. pro capitalism. Hi, Corey. I think capitalism has failed the planet. Though, yeah. Because um, this is a new one, Amanda. We were too greedy. There wasn't enough charity. But they might as well there just be doing take, the same take, thing. Take, 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 and people got really rich, but there was not enough. Put back out, put back out. You should be tithing. If every rich person in the country tithed 10% of their income every year, there'd be no homeless ever. That's just the truth. But we just, we have a system that doesn't work that way. It's bullshit. It's all federal bullshit. And this is affecting the whole world. Yeah. We, we've now read about half a dozen of those quotes to you guys through different shows because uh, if you go to their earnings calls, that's where the CEOs brag about how well they did to the market. Yeah, Melanie. And so they tell the market, oh, we're increasing prices like crazy and these suckers are still paying it. And so we're getting, our profit margins are through the roof. Now, I'm going to show you that that is the case in the numbers. See, in a normal market, when you have uh, as prices increase, uh, it's because firms have three different uh, components to a price. Your labor costs, your non-labor costs, and uh, your profit margin, right? Now, normally, every year, you give a little bit of a raise to labor, so labor winds up becoming a bigger part of the increase. Oh, thank in you, Chipper. Price. I, I appreciate you. From 1979 to 2019, 60% of the increase in prices was due to... Michael, are you going to tell them why you call me jeans, or do I want? Do I need to tell the story? They didn't. It's really not that that crazy of a story or anything, guys. But sixty <laughs> percent uh, of it was due to labor, and that is normal. Okay, and only eleven percent were extra profits that they were piling up. But since twenty nineteen, after COVID hit, they realized, oh my God, there's no one checking at all. Uh, we're all monopolized now. Over That's all of these years, we've gained control of these That's markets. Right. We get to set almost any price we want, and the government isn't regulating us anymore. They don't let us do anything. They don't let us strand millions of people in air airports, screw over entire Christmas breaks, etc., and they won't fine us one dollar. Even the Democrats won't do it. They're a goddamn joke. They're almost bragging about it in these calls. So what happened in these last three years? Only 8% of the price increases have been due to I'm labor. 54% were because oh, of Oh, I'm sorry about that, profits. Nine Lives. So when you see on cable Maximum news, whether it's Fox News or MSNBC, telling you, and they both have, and we showed those clips to you as well, oh, inflation is because of the workers. The wages are going up too much. And by the way, the Federal Reserve, representing the rich and the powerful, them, we got to raise interest rates so that we lower employment and lower wages, and that's going to give us stability. It doesn't have anything to do with wages. It's all the massive profit that they're taking home. <laughs> 8% isn't even increased wages. It's because unemployment has been so low, they have to just pay more people, not paying them better rates. Yeah, so that's another part of it. So, and you Hi, never Tipsy. hear this in corporate media, Hi, why? Because they're also giant corporations. Um, no, I don't think they've been awake all night. They, um, I didn't see the last part of their live last night, but I do that's think right. they took a break and then woke back up and came right back on. But I could be wrong. Maybe they're still awake from last night. If anybody knows for sure, 
feel free to let me know. It's a gouge people I agree. on a Tesla. But to gouge people on eggs and bread That's sick, and peanut butter, like these corporations are truly evil at this point. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, like the whole thing that happened with the infant formula. Like, what is happening? These are basic necessities. Eggs? You're gonna you're gonna fleece the American public on eggs? Go suck an egg. Yeah. Uh -huh. I hope we call this story Cardi Pissed B pizza, mad man. about price gouging. Oh. <laughs> it took me a second, but I got it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. So really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through Ashley. YouTube memberships. I take it yeah, easy. Yeah, watermelon is stewing in her juices. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? What a fucking... Oh. Wow. That was insane video. This is another insane video. Oh, my God. I'm really sure. The chimp goes absolutely ballistic I'm after. Wait, wait. This is the title of the video. Hi, Candy. Chimp Hi, goes absolutely ballistic after being given Xanax. Travis the chimp. What's up, Shaw? Hi, Mike. I I I need to know this. I'm pretty much a hundred percent sure that this was on Nancy Grace. I think it might have been too. Yeah. The but why would you give a fucking chimp a Xanax? I don't know. Um. Catherine, I'm assuming you're talking about where Rev and Shani are at. It is 1.17 p.m. where they're at. I, 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 I don't think that the drugs were made for chimps. No. I'm pretty sure the drugs okay, were made Tracy, for Okay, Tracy, I will beans, definitely so. check that out. Correct. Thank you. Okay. It probably hallucinated. The chimp? Yeah. Don't humans and chimps yeah, have I similar they, brains? I thought we did. Oh, well, is this yes, where the but... um, this is where the lady gets attacked by the monkey, right? Yeah, a trigger warning for everybody for that because it is upsetting. Because of different um, balances oh, of hormones. Oh, one second, and guys. Yeah. Let's see. What's up? Hey, Gary, how's it going today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Uh, not bad, thanks. Good. So Shani and Rev are back to their um new shtick that they have with watching true crime things um yuck yeah so don't know how long we'll stay on here covering this but i figured i would come on and watch a, a little bit of it for a little while and see what's what the latest today at, yeah sure but looks like they might be boring as they were uh -huh. yesterday and the day before yeah. and the like this is their thing now this is all they do now so yeah, I'm hoping awful. they get tired. I hope they get tired of it and switch things up a little bit at some point because it is really like painful just to try to sit and watch this. Okay. You like the dripping commentary on everything? Um, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, and everybody, trigger warning on this. They're playing right now this 911 call. It is really upsetting. So, um, if you get upset by things like that, you may want to give it a second and come back Dogs, because cats and birds it can be are often upsetting. kept as pets because of the Well, yeah, I've never had a cat attack me like that. Holy shit. That was insane. Oh, hamburgers. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, oh, hamburgers. I'm pretty cool with whoever wants to join can come on my panel anytime. Nice. Um, yeah. I'm open. I'm open to anyone. Pretty easy going. Well, you know, yeah, we, I try to be. After I mean, you well. put up with Michael, so. <laughs> true, true. If I can put up with him, I can put up with mm. anyone, right? No, mm -hmm. he's not. He's not that bad. <laughs> he's a happy boy. I am. He's a good Maybe. guy at the end of the day, <laughs> but he does love to pester and annoy me. <laughs> Hey, he's a mailman. He's got to be pretty decent, right? <laughs> there you go. I haven't met a bad mailman yet. The no? Unconditional yeah, I guess love. I have to no, you always get These the mailman like a gift at Christmas. Yeah, they do. Something to drink on a hot day. Everyone loves the mailman. They really do do that, and I think that is so sweet and cute that they live give he got a couple of things on christmas from people and, oh that's awesome yeah, yeah. And like i do a christmas card for mine and like yeah. a gift card for tim hortons or something and oh yeah like that's awesome and i know like in the summer when it was warm or 
hot, I should say. You know, people would leave like wa- bottled water and oh, things awesome. in there. Yeah, like people are really it's a tough overall. Job. People like, are nice, you know. Well, they work hard and like go above and beyond to get you your stuff. And yeah, they do. Know. Like honestly, have anyone ever met a bad mailman? Yeah, let me know. That. Let me know if any of you have. But so far, I have to say, all mine have been pretty good. So. What's up, Hillary? How are you doing? Very good, baby. Sandy and Jerry Harold sought out a chimpanzee breeder from Festus, Missouri, who ran a sanctuary. Though they themselves didn't operate a sanctuary, they wanted to buy a baby chimp to keep as a pet at their home. Oh, that in was yeah. Yeah. The breeder, Connie Casey, yeah, that is, it bred is a for male chimp Nick, named Coco, who had been taken cute, from so. How do you feel about that? Do you think that people should be able to own these, you know, mm. exotic pets and animals? I'm kind of mixed on it. Because they're yeah. certainly a wild animal that mm-hmm. should not be domesticated. Mm-hmm. But there are some YouTubers or Twitchers that... Um, tweakers people on no not twitch uh tiktok sorry that have like little pet monkeys and it's like their baby you know yeah dress them up and like spoil them rotten and it's like that's kind of okay yeah it's so cute but it's like just i I, i'm like you it gives me a mixed feeling it's like like tiger king kind of level of you got so fucking many of them yeah you literally have a zoo Uh, yeah getting a little bit no that is definitely definitely you know but even like, you know, situations like this where it's like this lady, I've heard this story before. And this lady had this chimp for like a long time, years and years and years, and didn't really have that much problems with it. But then as it got older, um, things kind of changed a little bit and she started becoming more aggressive. But yeah, she didn't. Really yeah. Right and then it ends up with him, with him attacking someone eventually. So it's like mm. you never really like no matter how long that you've had them, they're still a wild animal. It's not like a dog. You know, what I mean? even a dog, though, can can um, become something like where sure. you That's know, why, any, like any animal have such a bad rap. Yeah. You know, and it's all in how you raise them. Exactly. That's true. Science. And I think it's interesting shit, actually. Yeah. I like listening to them. Look, these two yeah. idiots should not have any animals. They he has a great way of speaking. No, yeah, he's a, I he know. Would, I, they I can't mean, even take care of themselves. Shit, I think. I or think, they can, but they don't. Oh, speaking of, did you hear um, the other day? I know when we were watching, um, you saw when they uh, got, like, somebody bought everything off their Amazon wish list. Yeah. It was somebody fucking with them. No, no way. Did you cancel? Yep. Did it really? Oh, thank God. Yes. yes. Okay. If you're going to do so, that, you're a cool person. Like, yeah. fucking sure. I don't yeah. endorse it or kind of thing. Right. But if that's your thing, is you're, you're not Shit. actually buying. Yeah. Right. Okay. It. I mean, it sounds cruel to say it made me happy, but it made me happy because I'm just like, how can these people sit here, do nothing, be horrible people child abusers and people are gonna yeah. just come in and buy them whatever they want like her list so, is still empty though i'm looking at her amazon thing right now. i know i wonder it. how that works you know how long it Hopefully takes like fucked it all up yeah no, when they were basically whatever they did besides it being that it was a troll and trolling them they also it makes it so that no one else can buy anything off of it because yeah, that's fantastic the list, yeah the list is empty yeah, Mandalorian. If that was their plan. That's good on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mandalorian did bring that up because apparently, um, she had seen somebody do that to another YouTuber before. Ah, so they up. said, yeah, they said that might be the possibility, but I just didn't know with with the amount of money that they've been getting and given to them. I thought maybe. I mean, I, I thought it could be possible. Like I didn't get it, but I thought it might be possible. So. To know that it, it wasn't like that, it's like, again, I'm not trying to be a cruel person, but yeah, it did. Uh, These people make don't me deserve <laughs> nine hundred some odd dollars of shit. No, again, not like, at all. find a good charity and give to that charity. Yes, that's what you're looking to do exactly. Oh, and speaking of charity stuff, I want to make something clear to everybody in the audience. I know that I spoke about doing a fundraiser um, for charity or something like that. Um, and I'm still looking into it. Don't know for sure if that will happen or not, but I'm doing it. I'm going to do it in a way where it is very transparent. 
um, and everybody will know that their money is going to what nice. they right. But the rumor apparently that is starting to go around about it because there's rumors is that I'm doing I'm talking about doing a GoFundMe for military vets and that I'm going to scam people. <laughs> um, so I just want to make that, that on your community tab, yeah, on YouTube, yeah. let everyone know, clear the air, and stop yeah, the rumor mill yeah. shit. Yeah, because I'm definitely not starting a GoFundMe. Um, and like I said, anything that I do do for charity will be set up in a way where the money does not even go into my hands. It will go straight to the charity from you guys if I do something at all. So just don't believe everything you see. Um, take the time, if you don't mind, to ask me if you have any questions about anything like that that you think I might be doing or not doing that you don't agree with. Don't take it as truth unless you talk to me because there are some things that are being twisted a little bit that, um, you know, so that's all I'm going to say about it. Move on. But yeah, not doing a GoFundMe at all. So that is not true. The Herald's <laughs> house was large, but not equipped. Look how that big. Yeah, look how big that chimpanzee is. That's they a soon big had to adapt their house. Right, to like the ones you see on YouTube and stuff. They're just little, like, I don't know what the hell they are. Little little monkey things. Like yeah. The tiny little things. Tiny ones. Yeah, and they stay small. Uh, yeah. Like a is it a spider monkey? No. I have no idea. I can't think of it um, exactly, but I know. They look what you're like chimpanzees, about. but they're Yeah, they're just like tiny. miniature miniature versions. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like not a big handful. Don't need crap ton of space meant to be right. out in the wild. Right. Like somewhat and I mean, investigatable. It could, right. It still could, like, attack, but your yeah, chances if it does, like, kind of come after you are definitely a lot better than if you're dealing with a monkey that's like this, that's literally almost the size of a person. Exactly. With you know, a lot of strength. A lot of strength. A lot of upper body strength. Mm hmm. Ugh. Not meant to sit around People inside all day. No. Deep space is designed yeah. just for Travis. Not only Hi, Kelly, did they cage in a large room just for him, much like a bedroom, which was attached to an outdoor enclosure for him to access and outfitted with tires and ropes, but they also gave him a few other rooms all to himself that he would be able to move about whenever he was alone. The couple had to put a lock on their bedroom door. What's up, Pyro? I haven't seen home, you in a while. Travis had run Hope the that you're doing good. Really? Eventually, though, Oh, Travis thank you guys. was sleeping in the Herald's room. Jesus. And they had given him his own mattress. He could have fucking ripped their face off and killed them in their sleep. What's up, not I... But he wouldn't under normal circumstances. Yeah. How uh, do you know that? Red? Why did they feed him pills? This is insane. Why the fuck did they feed him pills? Yeah. They're fucking dumb. They're trying what to calm his this? ass down. Like, I can't wait to see the story. Not that it was the answer, but... He often ended up sleeping in bed with the both of them. Travis would even reportedly Oh, join thank you, Hillary, for the super chat. You said, they never show receipts for their claims about Carrie, though. Weird. Laugh out loud. Yeah, it's it's disappointing, but that's why I try to just clear the air um, as quickly as I can and just move on from it. But thank you for the super chat, Hillary. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. This poor chimp. Person. Look at him. He's huge. They fed the freaking chimp booze. Huh? He's their life partner. They fed it booze. Yeah, this is. Nah, I don't remember this, hearing this that is, part. It, this would be considered like abuse of the animal, right? Because it's like. Oh, don't go there. Uh, this is so abusive. It do would not be go there. That, right? I yeah. I think it is. Yeah. It's certainly not treating a chimp how he should be in nature. For Don't real, care Amanda? about your opinion. No, they like they actually gave this chimp I a booze and pills given to a monkey is definitely That's abuse. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chelsea. Chelsea said, remember when Shani was going to be a gamer? God. Yes. Now why, she's a true crime a reaction oh. channel. Its What's up, Sherry? Yeah, that's true. It just is. You know, she's 
She's got all this education. Do you think wild cats shit in boxes? No, they don't. Basically, an expert. Shit on the ground. Right. Exactly. What's up, bro? And a chimp is gonna make Hi, Bruce. a piece of meat. Even Hope you're having a good day. Or something as you're a meal. Yep. You that can't hear happen. the co-host. That's true. Oh. No. Can you? So Says is it's it, going yeah. through perfectly. No, the ground is I hear you. Ship box. Yeah. Um, exactly. Lighten let me, up and stuff. Yeah. Let me know in the chat if you guys are having trouble hearing um, some, and I will adjust things if I need to. Um, but he sounds good on my end, so. I'm not sure. Oh, thank you, Nina, for the super chat. Kisses back to you. Love you, girl. Thank you so much. Oh, I kind of stepped off from the microphone a little bit. Maybe that's what it oh, was. Oh, maybe so that's wasn't, what like, it was. Right in front of it. Okay. Okay. When you I'm on OBS, it, it does a lot of stuff automated, uh, but on here, it, it doesn't run all the software. Got you. Okay. So it looks like Scott says he can hear you fine. Okay. Yeah, it must just been when I stepped away. Okay. Yeah, but if you guys ever um, in the chat, if you guys ever do hear, like, have a problem with the audio or video or whatever, don't hesitate to speak up, and, and that way I can um, adjust things accordingly, so. Go. Yeah, I'm always paranoid about that. I run, like, an extra iPad and have an iMac going with the stream and yeah, <laughs> just constantly monitoring stuff. So. Right. Yeah, it can be nerve-wracking with Travis, and they even began bringing him to their work with them. That's a nice vehicle. Okay, it's all good now. Ooh. Yeah, it might have just been that when you stepped away for a, yeah. a second. That is some sexy fucking wheels. Oh, they're making the the, the monkey mm. wash the car. <laughs> I couldn't see anyone saying no to that car. Yo, you want fit yeah, in you should that. see this Corvette. No it's chance. Really not, nice. not a chance in hell. Bro, oh my god, Bought that's right like out a 60 something. Yeah, it's not that beautiful. Like a 69 Corvette or something. She couldn't yeah, even fit in the back awesome of the cop though. car. Oh, there's that's no way she fit in a vet. There is no, no room in that thing. What would I do mm -hmm. if I had that car? Enjoy the wind, baby. Oh, that's sick. Enjoy the I probably I probably cross country in that. Baby. Okay, you yeah. know we'll be here. That is not a cross country car, you love, idiot. I don't. I, no. I like sedans. Not comfortable I like drive. Sedan it, cars. That's the time. I don't no. like, I don't think I'd enjoy as much driving a coupe. This really, I never fun. drove one though. I might right. like it better. I don't know. Drives. It was just me and you. Yeah, it was just me and you. Yeah, that would be cool. It's only two seats too, you dumb dumbs. And oh. what do, what yeah, do they mean if it was just me and you? Who else is going to be with you? There's you guys. You don't have There's any no friends. You don't have it. any family anymore. Your kids aren't with you. Who else would be with you but you? Two? <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel. I like besides the cats, which they we know you would put in a in a carrier or do what you need to do no in shop. that regard. They soon filled the room with tire swings, ropes, and trampolines for him to play <laughs> Bruce with. Bruce said they... Rev would have to strap Shani on top of the car. Sue. Who had a young son, Tyler. That's true. As he grew up, that would Tyler. Be oh my God, she could have killed her children. Wow. That oh was my when it was God! Tiny. Look how small this it was woman's then. insane. She had kids and allowed a fucking chip around her children. Again, it's all in how you raise them. It's like you know, if you have a pit bull, then you have a baby. That's insane. Any dog could kill your kid at any point, but yeah. It is kind of like a slalom. Like, God. yeah, this is nuts. You, you have Rev could not drive a belt. It would just slip like, right out insane. under him. He would not know what's going on. Like pretty much this everything in his life, he wouldn't know what to do with it. He crashed it. Mm hmm. Like, put it right off in the ditch. Off and yeah, with Travis. Maybe end up on the train tracks again. <laughs> Even though they were actually similer in age, Travis oh, wow. matured quicker Look at than that Tyler. Monkey. Oh, my God. And gentle Travis would often care for the young boy. He looks he oh my God. He looks sweet, but that's, that's scary that he's holding a baby. The Heralds really did seem to regard Travis like a human child. Taking him to the beach with them, teaching him to ride a bike, and even how to control a ride on lawnmower. He would water the house plants, feed the family. Dude, the freaking oh, chimp could Las ride Vegas. a lawnmower. What's the temperature there, Peaches? Crazy chimp. What's up, Happy Peaches? Hope you're doing good. Happy New Year. 
There's What's no up, way. What's up, Christy? Yeah, this is an, this is High perpetual life. entropy. And uh, animal abuse. And, and animal abuse, yeah. Family horses, get himself a, a drink story. from the fridge and pour himself a glass. And even join them at restaurants. What? The heralds appeared to believe that they, they had socialized and domesticated Travis. And that because they treated him like a human being, he almost was one. They didn't see him as a pet, but as oh. part of their family. Shaney handed Rev the vape. Y'all have to watch this. Watch how they how they hand the um, vape Start back the timer. and forth. Yeah. She, look, her hand's staying right where it is. Like, Snatch go ahead it. and give it right back. You get one puff and then you're Sometimes done. Sometimes even getting Travis to hold their children in pose. The Heralds eventually used him to advertise See? their business. already had to give it back. He was so well known. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Billy, for the super chat. You said, hey, here and lurking, just listening. Hey, Carrie and some, like the stream, guys. Oh, thank you, Billy. Thank you so much for the super chat. You are so kind. Hope you're having a good day. Jesus. Travis took on the role of Sandy's child easily, and he accompanied the couple even more frequently. Hi, Andrea. But though he often behaved Why? as though he Why? was human, the Heralds Why? would soon learn they couldn't always control him. During a drive through downtown Stamford in October 2003, the Heralds yeah. stopped at a red light, and for some reason, Someone threw an empty plastic bottle into the half-opened window where Travis sat. Uh -oh. Travis's reaction was to grunt, unbuckle his seatbelt, open the car door, and knuckle walk across the road. While out on the street, Whoa. Travis at reportedly teeth. lunged Ooh. at someone walking by that before he began climbing up. over cars and swinging around the street. The entire time, he was smiling and hooting as the heralds attempted to get him back in the car. Nothing they did could get him to calm down and leave. McDonald's Not even their usual bribery of cookies and ice cream. <sighs> After some time, a dozen police officers were called to help wrangle the loose chimpanzee. But Holy shit, why wasn't he taken away and put in a sanctuary then? Yeah. Well, he didn't break any laws or anything then. Might not yeah. agree he did that, but... Oh my god. It looks like this could have been avoided. They should have put him in a sanctuary and stopped treating him like he's some baby. He was a grown adult chimpanzee. Oh, thank you, Pyro. Um, you said Shanty rents U-Haul trucks for users. <laughs> thank you for the super chat, Pyro. Um, Bruce, thank you for the super chat. You said Rev is feeling smug because he thinks he is better around kids than a chimpanzee. I would say <laughs> it's a toss-up. <laughs> I agree, Bruce. I, I, I don't know which would be worse, leaving your kid with the chimp or leaving it with Rev. It, neither, neither one would end well, I can promise you. <laughs> thank you for the super chat, Bruce. At local police. He would enter uh, the so Harold's and then swiftly yeah. open That's the doors the and jump around. out before they could lock him in. Finally, after tiring of his game, Travis climbed into the vehicle and buckled his seatbelt to leave. Okay, Auntie. Actually, I, did, I saw that. I've been meaning to get back to you. I'm still trying to figure out, um, get the information that you asked for, but I will definitely get back to you today. Thank you for reminding me. And... Perpetual Entropy, thank you for the super chat. You are awesome. Thank you so much. Glad you guys are here. Hope everyone's doing good today. Oh. Yeah, it must be traumatic to be taken from your home, forced to do work, and be treated like property. Exactly. Agreed he was being playful. It was also clear that the Heralds didn't have complete control over Travis. And that even the police had been unsuccessful in capturing him. Yeah, when he Auntie, was I think it's a that what you're saying too is a great idea. So we should definitely do that and collab on a video about it. Auntie Jessie, in case anybody doesn't know, um, she does tarot readings, and so we're thinking about getting together and she's going to do a tarot reading. Um, well, a reading, a even more in depth thing about Shani and Rev. So. Be on the lookout for that. I think that will be really interesting. Every card into you pull is just the death card. 
There you go. Shame. <laughs> what they said is they like the baby was three days old. Yeah, and they in had a- to, astrology, that's what it is. That uh, put do. the mom to sleep in order to get the baby away from the mother. That was that was just evil just to begin with. Dicks out for Harambe. Yeah. And Jesse, if you would like to drop a link in the chat to your channel, please feel free to do that. That way people know where to find you and can go and check you out. Also claimed that they didn't believe Travis was a threat to public safety. It is important to note that most of the Stanford police officers knew Travis quite well. And almost all of Jesse them posed with him for a photo. Uh, dude, we wouldn't pull the death card on Shani. The death card means change. That bitch ain't changing for shit. Yeah. <laughs> you got a point. You got a point. Concerned. Officer Della Bianca came to speak with Sandy there you go. about keeping Travis. She dropped her link in the chat, guys. So all you guys go like and subscribe and give her some love. Five grown men and known to be unpredictably violent. Della Bianca also told her that What's because up, Lardo? Travis was now- um, Yeah, she did do her uh, slumber party last night or whatever, but it literally was no different than what they're doing right now. So I'm not sure exactly what the point was in calling it that, but yeah, they did do it, but they it was excuse, essentially this same thing. Twinkies yeah. and ho-hos. And-, and ask for money because they asked for money for supplies for the slumber party, even though they just got their food stamps and shouldn't need any help buying food, they apparently still did. So I'll let I'll let everybody decide whether or not they believe that that money went towards food or not. I got a feeling it didn't. They used the food stamp card for the food, Holy and then crap. they used the money for something Nuts. else. So Travis would have those same urges, but could become violent because of them. Super chat even there. though. And Tracy, yes, I do have an email. Hold on, I'll drop the link in the chat for oh. you. And Tracy, yes, I do have an email. Hold on, I'll drop the um, link. Peggy, Peggy Sweet Treats, going to show Shani how to cook a carrot cake. Oh, you need to. You need to because she does not know what she's doing. Use pineapple, right? Adding huge, huge chunks of pineapple. Yeah. Thank you for the super chat, Peggy. She needs all the help she can get in that department. So. Not older. Yeah. But Sandy had withheld the entire truth from Officer Della Bianca. Two years prior, in 2001, she had been told by Travis's breeder, Aww. Connie Casey. Scott, today's your daughter's 12th birthday. That's so sweet. I hope she has a great birthday. From their cages. Last one before On teenage loose, years. Yep. Yep. All downhill after that. It is. And it goes by fast. Coates claimed that he and his friends were trapped inside as the chimps bared their teeth and rocked the vehicle. Coates eventually broke free and ran into his house to get a shotgun. By this time, Casey had arrived and tranquilized Susie, but she was still conscious. Though Casey had begged Coates not to use the weapon, he was reportedly afraid of the chimp and believed she would attack. He shot her three times. Susie died Those two hours grow fast after the they incident. Buy shit from a convenience after the store. fact, Not other witnesses food. came forward right, and yeah. said that I the chimps were right. being playful and What's friendly. Up, and swing? Coates served a month in jail for property damage. Thank you guys, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate you. That. What's up, taking my spirit back? No, uh, he shouldn't be in jail for that. Channel they name. their teeth and shook the car. Yeah. Does that justify him popping him with a fucking AK? Or a fucking Grabbed truck? a shotgun, shows AK-47. Yeah, uh, yeah that, his that, 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 that confused me, actually. All right, Corey. Well, they sho- see they, you later. They, sho- they were talking about chimpanzees, but they were showing bamboo. But baboons. Baboons. Bamboo. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, Shane. They just took Eddie Free Domain images, you know. It was probably quickly put together. Yeah, because they pump out a lot of content. Yeah. 
Animal abuse. What a great video. But he still maintains that the chips had posed a threat to him. What's more, there was an alleged oh, yeah. incident in 1996 with, with Travis where he had actually shown that he could be aggressive. Leslie Mostel Paul had seen Travis while he was in the Herald's vehicle and asked Sandy if she could approach him to say hello. Sandy had said it was fine. But when Paul tried to Um Tracy, I just uh dropped my um email in your in the chat so that way you can email me whatever you're talking about. That she felt like Sandy was more aggravated than upset about the incident, as if she was annoyed it had happened. Paul said that she had to get a rabies shot just in case because Sandy took so long to prove that Travis had gotten his shots. Paul was so upset by the incident that she reported it to the police, but she was disappointed when the matter was never looked into. Mm. Later, the police would claim that they never received Paul's report. Uh -huh. In hindsight, these glimpses of aggressive behavior were hints to the horror that would occur in the future. Regardless of if the Heralds believed that Travis was a threat or not, they still no longer took him out in public, as it was clear they wouldn't be able to capture him if he didn't want to be contained. Reportedly, the mayor at the time warned that if he got loose again, he could be shot. Trapped at home and no longer allowed to accompany the Heralds to work or on outings, Travis Hi, began Krista. to sulk How are and you? mope about being cooped up in the house. Around this same time, Jerry became incredibly ill with stomach cancer. And Sandy was spending all of her time with him in the hospital. Why, Jerry began to worry so that if he passed away, Shani, Travis no would be too out. much for Nothing Sandy here. to take care of on her own. Mm -hmm. He even suggested that she take him to a sanctuary. When Jerry it's died so weird. on April 12th, I, I don't get what they're doing here. Sandy felt Did incredibly alone. Did you about it? And despite but, like, Jerry's worries, she chose to keep thing Travis on it, with her. Nothing Travis in also appeared to right. mourn in his own and, way. And I mean, this isn't taking even the a pictures new of Jerry off the wall. story or anything. This happened years ago. Chest. He even started to take care of Sandy. So, filing her most name. people have already heard about this story, you know? She sat crying. A year after Jerry passed, if you're going to cover new stories or, or things like that, you should cover new Jerry. ones that. Or just, a just happened, you know what I mean? But she soon right. changed her mind and never said right. it. That would she be my should have done it. Yeah. Yeah. Like. It was time. Yeah, you, you, just don't do this to wild animals. Is take them out of their natural habitat. What's up, right. back, the back rooms? How are you doing and today? And try to turn them into humans. They're not humans. They're wild animals. Let them be wild animals. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Gripping commentary. Mm-hmm. That's awesome, Krissa. <laughs> Enjoy your new kitchen cabinets. New cabinets, man. That's awesome. I know, right? It's always fun. I know. To, like, smell the wood and stuff. Oh. Uh, yeah. And everything looks nice and new and... Yeah, there's no splotches on the shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's nice. That's cool. It part of this decision was because Sandy and her friend Charla Nash, a single oh, okay, mother, Bruce. had that reunited happened. after Jerry passed. Sandy allowed Charla and her young daughter to live in a loft that she owned, and even offered her a job bookkeeping for the towing business. Their friendships. Instant karma. Yes, it's so phony how she. She's so compassionate to animals and children who aren't hers. Barf. Agree. Totally agree with that. Sorry, I was going to say hi to you, but I had to the sneeze truth. first. Right. And I didn't want to say your name in the middle of a sneeze. Christy. Ugh. You've got timed out. Um, back room, does she ever, we bought does she it all even with see her children? No, house, not knowing she does not see her children. Um, she's required to take a drug test before she sees them and she refuses to do that. So since they have been taken out of her care and in put in foster care, she has not seen them in person at all. Sadly. Seemed to save well, since, the since June. Seems, yeah, it might be for the best, but I'm sure that it's hard for her kids to know that she 
uh, could see them, but isn't willing to do what she needs to do. Visited quite frequently Definitely for the best. She younger, can't handle just doing phone calls. With phone legs. calls, she puts them on the internet. Exactly. Yeah, she, um, Instagram, she did do on video now. She has seen them on there. But on one of the phone calls that she did with the older son, she actually recorded it and then posted it on YouTube and on Twitch. So I think she may have gotten in trouble for that. I mean, she had to take it down. And then um, I'm thinking after that, they might have started to monitor more her communication with them. I don't know that as a fact. That's just my uh, guess on what might have gone down. Because I am I just have to believe that the foster care, that they were not happy with her doing what she did and taking that um, recording and sharing it online. So I hope she got in trouble for that because she should have that they can survive on that. What's up, Nancy? Right. On junk food. Wow. Surely survives on nothing but junk food. Right. Yeah. Amen, Krissa. Good deal. And fish and chips. He spent his time watching one of the three TVs all day. I agree. Taking my spirit back, you said, I dreamt food he smelled like granny perfume and rotten potatoes and woke up with a headache. Laugh out loud. Shanny probably smells worse. A hundred percent. Oh, you know she smells worse. It seemed that being cut off it. from the rest of the world and limited to only the house, in addition to the pain of Jerry's sudden death, caused Travis to lose Oh really Musilla you never saw the video of her son recording it wasn't a video um as far as like visually it was just a audio recording um but yeah they got taken down I had it on my channel but I took it down just because I didn't feel right about having her kid on my channel like that um but yeah it was bad she basically got him to um defend her and say that you know, how they were never abused, and it was sick. I mean, she, she, she was just, it was so messed up that she made him do that. It's okay, Krissa. That can happen, though. Yeah. <sighs> You're welcome. Back to the back room. Who smells worse, Shani, Chantel, or Amberlynn Reed? Shanny. Sandy tried to calm him by getting him to color Shanny. or draw, watch TV or eat, but nothing seemed to distract him from his agitation. Do people withdraw from Adderall? I have no idea. Hi, Undead Ramen. Yeah, you would oh, I'm sure withdraw it has from that. Symptoms, yeah. Really? Oh, I'm sure it it's does. It's addictive. I have no I mean, idea. It's a controlled substance. Yeah, I'm sure Adderall's it like yeah. a you amphetamine, can Google. isn't it? Right, yeah. They're all, it's a stimulant. And they're, I mean, they're, de they are addictive and you, so I, you definitely could get withdrawals from quitting cold turkey, especially if you've been on it for a while. Uh, it's an amphetamine. Yeah. He's, he's going to withdraw. What's up, Dinah? Yes. Bad. You'd like a pet bamboo? Well. No. <laughs> yeah. You caught that too when she said that. I'd call the pharmacy and tell them. Yeah. They'll probably refill you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Alana. Um, yes, Adderall is meth in a pill. Mess. Hey. Yeah. I don't know for sure, but I know that they definitely give you similar feelings. Um, I'm sure Adderall is a little bit safer, I would think, but then again, I don't know. I'm no expert on these things, so don't listen to me. <laughs> Take everything I say in that regard with a grain of salt. I don't know if they do it or not. It doesn't hurt. I would call the pharmacy. Sure. The pharmacy is not every fellow without a doctor to put a Xanax pill into yeah. Travis's tea in the hopes that he would settle down. It didn't appear to be working. No. Yes. Travis took her car Instant keys karma, and went she did have her slumber party last night, um, but it was basically just exactly what you're seeing here they didn't do anything different than what they've been doing on these streams so i don't know why she called it a slumber party and and made it like that i guess to get more donations or something but yeah it was boring it you was a boring a one free a free doby what's up whack attack adderall yeah, is nowhere near meth 
He wanted to be a free okay. chimp. Free doggy. Yeah, man. He wanted for, he wanted to he wanted to ride. And he wasn't allowed to. That's why he freaked out, man. He felt like he was a prisoner. Right. Whack attack. Stimulants only work for people who have yeah. with HD HD HD. Like a real chimp. ADHD. 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 I knew up, when I said I'm like, that didn't sound right. <laughs> dude dude had fucking um uh cabin fever. Exactly. And he went all Jack Torrance on on sort someone. Of. Sort of. Yeah. Good question, Sandra. So much. Yeah, cabin fever is real. Definitely. Be a disagreement about whether or not Sandy asked Charla to come and help her, or if Charla had volunteered to come over herself. Either Hi, way, Firefly. Charla arrived at Sandy's house around 3.40 p.m. and found Travis out in the yard. At first, Charla held up an Elmo doll she had brought to distract Travis. She held the doll over her face, but he reacted in a way she hadn't expected at all. Upon seeing her, Travis charged across the yard, about 35 feet away, running on his knuckles in a rage before rearing up onto his two back legs right in front of her. Stunned, Sandy had shouted at him that it was Charla and for him to stop. Okay, thank you, Tracy. But Travis didn't listen. Instead, he shoved Charla against her vehicle where she then dropped to the ground. Seeing his sudden attack, Sandy screamed for him to stop. But when he didn't, she grabbed a snow shovel and hit him over the head. Despite Travis screaming as well, he didn't stop his attack on Charla, who was defenseless against the enormous animal. Sandy ran back to the house and grabbed a butcher's knife to defend her friend. She stabbed Travis three times, but he didn't even slow down. Wow. Allegedly, Travis paused only once to stand up and face Sandy, where she stood petrified. He made eye contact with her before turning away and continuing his assault on Charla. Not knowing what else to do and fearing. Wow, he was done. That's nuts. He was done. Whew. That's nuts, dude. That monkey's adrenaline. Was pumping so much. That you have a good day too, taking my spirit thing. back. I understand. It is boring. Yeah. He didn't feel What's up, shit. Marco? He just ripped her face off. Like, what did he do? And he would attack her <laughs> as well. Not even paying attention. Sandy ran to no. her car where it was parked nearby, knife still in hand, and locked herself inside. She made a frantic call to 911. Sandy sobbed while screaming for the police to arrive. She asked for the police to bring a gun to stop her chimpanzee from killing her friend. The chimp killed my, my friend! What's the problem with your friend? Trigger warning. Please! What's the problem with your friend? I need to know. Get the police out! With a gun! With a gun! They gotta have their guns out. They, they gotta have their guns out. Listen to me. Oh my god. End quote. He ripped her apart. Hurry up, hurry up, please. The dispatcher had reportedly believed the call was a hoax, as they never expected to hear reports of a chimpanzee attack. He's killing my friend! Who's killing your friend? He's killing my chimpanzee! Oh, your chimpanzee is killing your friend! Yes. He ripped her apart! Hurry up! With a gun. Hurry up, please! He ripped her face off! He's ripped She's dead. Why, why are you saying that she's dead? She's dead. He ripped her apart. He ripped what apart? Her face? Everything. Is the monkey still by your friend or can you get close to your friend? Please, please. 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 Okay, I need you to calm down for me. I know it's hard, okay? I know it's hard. But they're going as fast as they can your way, okay? Oh my God, please. please. It wasn't until Sandy screamed, he's eating her, that they took the call seriously. Yikes. When the police Yikes. finally arrived, they found Charla lying on the ground, mostly That's a tough naked call, from right? Travis ripping the at her clothing. Short first. They she can't appeared do anything. to be dead. Yeah. So Travis was right. angrily roaming That's the yard, but rapidly approached the police vehicle. He yanked at one of the police doors, but found it was locked, and then swung around to the other side. 
Here, he easily knocked off one of the side view mirrors before he yanked on the other door. This one was unlocked, and it opened. The officer on that side was Frank Chiafar. This is insane. Do the cops uh, usually don't hesitate he to shoot the and take their time on this? Car? Oh my God! Did he kill the right? fucking officer? What the fuck? This is nuts. We need a serial killer chimp movie, bro. That needs to happen again if it had. If it, it, it's probably been done. Whoa. Sorry. He described that Travis was in a frenzy and that he recognized the chimp from his visits to the police station to take photos with the officers. Officer Chiafari was startled by Travis's blood-stained face, and he pulled out his gun. Officer Chiafari described the incident, saying, He gave me a split second to react. He shows his teeth, a snarl, and I see blood. I see his fangs. I just start to shoot. Travis was shot four times, and at first, he didn't react. Then he shrieked, defecated, and ran away. A group of officers set after Travis, but he managed uh, to sneak times. back into the house. And, yeah. and he's still not down. He yeah. got shot four times in that fucking dude's and still not fucking down. That's insane. That's an insane. That's insane. Thing. It's insane, Carrie. That's insane. It's like freaking Jason. <laughs> Terminator. Yeah, dude. I, that's insane. Oh my god. Terminator. Holy shit, you don't balls. With, you don't fuck with the champ. No, nah, man. He's 50 cent. Yeah, yeah right? right? It's like, literally. What? That's insane. He's 50 cent. Bulletproof. Oh, my God. Crazy. That's insane. Oh, during the chaos and went into his room. It was there that he collapsed from oh. all his wounds and died. The police couldn't have prepared themselves for the carnage that they discovered at the scene. Shockingly, Charla was still alive. She and was? She moved, trying to get the officer's attention. Wow. The vicious attack resulted in the loss of her nose, both of her eyes, her lips, and scalp. Most of the bones of her face were broken, and she had lost one of her hands and most of the other. The injuries were horrific and extensive, and she wasn't expected to make it. But Charla was swiftly sent to Cleveland Clinic in critical condition, and there she underwent seven hours of life-saving surgery. God bless her, she man. She managed to hang on, and despite all odds, she survived. Holy fuck! The doctors no. were able to reattach her jaw. The chimp. God bless that woman, man. She's alive to tell the story. Wow. I didn't expect that. That's awesome. Wow. Dude. They didn't do bad for reconstruction, constructive surgery, to they, tell you the they truth. They did their best. Yeah, they did their best. God bless that woman, man. That's awesome she survived that attack. Yeah. ...had given her an infection, which caused Charla to become permanently blind. The story shocked the entire world. Immediately, Sandy became the target of reporters horrified by the shocking case. They attempted to lure her out of her house for an interview. But Sandy refused to speak to anyone for weeks after the incident. She was often demonized in the eyes of the press and seen to be at fault for Travis's... G-Man. Oh my god, yeah, okay. Gotta throw that out there. Everyone knows that's G-Man. Yeah, that's true. Right? They never Him never trying to look to take, cool like he's a badass take or a something. Shot. Some yeah, God bless the woman for surviving. That's awesome. Yeah. Like a sick, twisted God that the allowed that to even happen. went so far as to make unseemly accusations against her relationship with Travis. There were also claims that Travis had appeared on Maury Povich's show and in a TV show with Cheryl Crow and Michael Moore. 
Later, Sandy would mourn the way she was portrayed in the media, as though she had cared more about Travis than Charla. Sandy defended herself, saying that she stabbed her own son, trying to save Charla. She also later described that it felt as though she had stabbed herself. It had upset her so much. Sandy even elaborated that she believed that the moment when Travis turned to face her after she had stabbed him, he was asking her, quote, Mom, what did you do? Sandy was further horrified when she went to the crematorium to deliver Travis's favorite tie-dyed t-shirt and found out that the chimp she thought of as her own child had been decapitated in order to have a rabies test conducted. The test result revealed that he didn't have rabies, which would have explained his violent attack. There were other explanations later offered for the savage attack. Though Sandy may have viewed and treated Travis like a human son, he was a wild animal, no matter what she believed. Without knowing it, the strangely close relationship Sandy and Jerry had with Travis may have played a role in causing his attack. In the wild, chimps are very territorial and often get into violent altercations when they feel their space or mate is being threatened. When Charla arrived at the house, she had a new haircut and was driving a different vehicle, one that Travis wasn't familiar with. As Travis was so bonded with Sandy, he likely thought Charla was a threat when he didn't recognize her. Others believe that the chimp had spent 14 years of his life repressing his true nature because he lived like a human being for God, so this long. Is just dragging they think on. that the attack was inevitable. Like, as it was I only think a matter so. Of yeah. You can't treat really a wild no. animal like a human being. You know? No, not forever. No. Should have let no. him out. Definitely. In, into the wild. That's it. Like, let him be a boy. Yeah. Let him be a boy? Let him be a boy. You mean let him be a monkey? Whatever. It's crazy. It's awful. It's just, the whole thing's just tragic and sad. Sad story. Very matter of time before the chimp would act like the animal he really was. As well, there is some debate on whether or not the Xanax oh, thank God. Sandy gave to Travis oh. may have made him more inclined to attack as the medication wasn't prescribed to him. Mm -hmm. In humans, Xanax can cause hallucinations, aggression, and even mania, though it is an anti-anxiety medication. It very well could have been Sandy's attempt to calm Travis that sent him spiraling into a rage. Yeah, wow. Sandy there later you go. denied ever having given Travis Xanax, but the examination Benzo of Travis's that. body had shown yeah. evidence of the drug. That's a good point. Officer Chiafari later reflected that despite Travis's devastating attack, he views the chimp Toe tapper as a said whales are wild animals too, Shannon. He should have been in the jungle where he's supposed to be. Yeah. Not in a house drinking wine and taking uh, Xanax. Yeah. Reportedly, Sandy slept with an urn every single night that contained the ashes of Travis's body. When wow. Sandy the weird. fuck psycho. <laughs> that was part of her life like You're, 14 yeah, years. Yeah, that's true. Caused that's your true. friend to child. die in front right. of you horribly and here you are sleeping with the Weird. That's weird. Bruce said they gave the chimp booty weird. shorts from his Amazon wish list. Funny? How you doing, <laughs> forced Mama? him to wear them. Uh, Bruce, you are always saying. No, funny she didn't stuff. die, but Cracks it's weird that she would have the urn of the chimp next to her. Treating People a wild animal like an alcoholic sometimes. suburban mom. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. Sandy passed away in 2010 at the age of 72. What's up, Shaza? From an aortic How aneurysm. Ow. She was buried with the urn in her hands. Since she passed away 15 months after the attack, some have said that after the loss of her daughter, husband, and the chimp up, she treated Tot like a son, and, JP? and the maiming of her close friend, she had died from a broken heart. 
No. Charla's family sued Sandy only a month after the attack. They asked for $50 million. Jesus. They eventually wow. settled on $4 million, no. and Charla herself then attempted to sue the state of Connecticut for $150 million. For what? As she claimed they knew Travis was dangerous from previous incidents. But she lost the case. Many of the surgeons yeah. who worked to save Charla, as well as the police who responded to the horrifying incident, received therapy in order to cope with what they had witnessed and the harrowing memories. Yet, it was Charla who showed incredible resiliency. She later remarked in an interview, I just want to get on with my life and get better. She's on awesome. On Charla's 56th birthday, only nine months after she had been attacked, she officially revealed her new face to the world while on the Oprah Winfrey show. I remember that. Charla That's also explained to Oprah that she couldn't from. remember much of the scarring incident and that she didn't want to. The show no. shocked viewers as Charla appeared on camera after receiving a graft from her leg to create a nose. Though she survived numerous injuries, there was little that surgeons could do cosmetically as some areas of her face would never look the way they did before. For two years, Charla underwent numerous surgeries. Though all helped to salvage her body after the savage attack, she was also the recipient of innovative transplants. Hi, Mel. Charla How are you doing today? Charla underwent the very first double hand and face transplant in the U.S. Oh, wow. Though all transplants were initially successful, What's up, some Charla idiot? Charla developed pneumonia as she was healing. Hope you're Her body doing good rejected today. both of the hand oh, transplants, no. and doctors were forced to remove them because of infection, which caused poor circulation in the limbs. But even after receiving the revolutionary face transplant, which her body seemed to be responding well to, Charla still suffered other setbacks in her road to recovery. As can occur with many transplants, her body began to slightly reject the tissue of the transplant. Oh. She had actually taken part in a military-funded study trying to determine whether or not recipients of transplants can be weaned off of anti-rejection drugs which come with other serious side effects. Often seeking to aid others, Charla chose to participate God in order her. to help military service members who become injured enough to need transplants. Even though she risked her own body rejecting the tissue, Charla reportedly didn't regret helping in the study and believes the research will help others. Once she was back on the anti-rejection medication, her transplant was successfully oh, accepted. Awesome. She now has a nose, lips, and jaw again, and her face has utterly transformed. Oh, that's I awesome. I just feel like it's my face. It's just not working real good, Charla shared. Today, Charla survives with the help of an aide who comes to her home most days of the week. Her life has been radically altered as she is blind and has lost the use of both of her hands. Yet, all Charla wants is her independence back. Oh, and now, after adjustment, some days, she can even function alone. Oh, thank you, alone. baby girl. That's awesome. She appears to just... Um, you said, hey, Carrie and chat, I'm late, but I'm here. Well, I'm glad you're here, baby girl, and thank you for the super chat. I hope that you're doing well and having a great day. allowed her to thrive even after so much trauma. She once said in an interview... I know I always had an attitude to whatever came my way. <laughs> now, I'd overcome it. I wouldn't let it hold me back. The tragic story of Travis spirit. and Charla is not an isolated incident, as there have been numerous other instances of exotic animals kept as pets who either escape, show their wild nature, or even attack their owners. Even when these animals appear domesticated, they are often un unpredictable yeah yeah you can't that's why they're meant they're meant to be in the wild man yeah exactly yeah, said that like two hours ago just keep yeah. them in the wild there's nothing here to talk about what the hell is that it's the heat oh Radiator. jesus i'm getting like all fucking paranoid i'm like what the fuck is that noise Jumpy, someone's gonna show up. Mm hmm. I wish I was like. Oh, I'm so glad, baby girl. 
I'm glad no one died. Yeah. I feel the same way. Everybody lived. No death. Well, Jim. Pete's is done being diplomatic and tells everyone up, to F LJ off. LJ Benny K. Well, you know what? I don't care. I just don't care. It's dead, Jim. Yeah. Like, there's more things to bitch and complain about in this world and talk about. Yeah, there is, Shani. And that dipshit stuff. True. 78 in Texas, about to turn on, turn the AC on. Yeah, I would. That seems very hot. Yeah. Uh... She's so boring. I know. So. I actually saw Now this. what? I want to see that Chernobyl thing, the horror of Chernobyl. Oh, God. Yeah, no. You want to see that? I'm down with that. All right. All right. I'm going to find a palate cleanser. <laughs> Thank you. What is up, Ewu crew? Ewu. Ewu. Today, we're taking a look at the events of April 26, 1986. A date that was forever seared into history. We will be discussing <laughs> one of the best-known disasters of the 20th century, an event remembered today as the worst man-made tragedy and the biggest nuclear catastrophe in all of history. If you enjoy true crime, mysteries, and true stories, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Now, let's get into it. In 1986, well, I I got Chernobyl, Ukraine was part. Um, the channel, it's Foodie Booty, not Beauty, but Booty. And they have um, two different um, videos about Shani, but one is called uh, YouTube's Ultimate Train Wreck. Have you seen that one yet? Doesn't sound familiar. I might have. It's, I know I've, I've found their channel before. It's hilarious i'll pull it tell me if you if you've seen it before we don't have to um watch it again but if you haven't it's definitely worth watching because it's hilarious um let me sure. pull it let me pull You're it not up gonna have anything to say about chernobyl just no. oh wow oh, oh god, god. Hmm. that's so sad all right here we go if you guys if any of you haven't seen this it's it's funny you'll like it Pack up the car what we can and we just head out to Pennsylvania. There's nothing else we can fucking do. We got no fucking money. We got fucking nothing. 911, what's your emergency? We're stuck on fucking train tracks. <laughs> Please, someone help. Just pay attention to the road. I'm not moving, Shanny, barely, so it's fine. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. How long did this go? Can you help us, Jesus? Help us, oh Jesus. my god, it's a fucking bridge over it. Look at this. This is just a bridge for a train. <laughs> How did... Look, I have to go back to that thing and, 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 and get on the ramp, Shani. Yeah. Because this yeah. is obviously fucking insane. Okay, like... Sorry about the quality in some of this. It's just Shani's uh, quality sucked on whatever she was recording with. Can you move over a little bit more? Uh -oh. Thank you. I'm... Here we go. Oh my god. Try to pull over them. Oh god. No. No. That's it. no. Oh, fuck. Oh. That's it. Jason, what? Call, call the, the cops. cops! Why would you call the cops? You call I the don't know. Help me, someone, please, Jesus, help me! I can't do the stress anymore. I need to get out of here. It's so hot. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oh God! I'm gonna have a heart attack. How about? How about? Turn off the car. 
so we don't waste any electricity. Yeah, yeah we're electricity. 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 Are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> We did not die. We did not die. But I'm alone right now because Shanny's, yep, Shanny's in the hospital. Help me! I'm alone with your kids. <laughs> Help me! I'm, I'm waiting to get uh, uh, this car off the train tracks, and then I'll be going to the hospital to see Shanny with the boys. So that's where we're at. So please pray for us, okay? God bless. Baby, I get awkward. Hi, Trina. I'm fucking panicking. I'm fucking panicking. I'm fucking panicking. We have just the weekend to get the fuck out of the house. They just gave us the fucking weekend. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna do? I'm fucking panicking. I'm fucking panicking. I'm fucking panicking. I'm fucking panicking. Why would I react this way? My heart. It feels. Like a Aww, thank you, Kitten Hotel. You said, "Hey, Carrie and Michael." It's actually some that's with me today, but hey. I know I know why. You know, I'll pass the message along to Michael too. But you said, "Hope you're doing well." Finished my fourth round of radiation today. Went well. I just can't watch this piece of shit. But wanted to drop by and say, "Hey, I'm so glad that your radiation went well today." And thank you for stopping by. I understand why you might not want to watch. It gets hard to watch these people over and over again. Trust me. So I get it, but thank you for stopping by to say hi, and I'm glad that you're doing good. That's awesome. Awesome. Crinkling. I'm fucking panicking. That's how my heart feels when it feels like it feels like a heart. Crinkling. You know how the goddamn system works. I've been in it too long, and I'm angry. So she got fired from her first job. She laid up in the bed for months doing nothing but drinking alcohol and and um, crying all the time. And just in case anyone doesn't know, this is her mom right here. Um, she's passed away, unfortunately, um, now, but this was back a few years ago and she definitely, um, shared a lot of knowledge about Shani. So if you haven't seen, um, the video of this full stream right here that she does, um, there's also one of her and the dad. Um, and in fact, that one's on my channel. If you want to go watch, um, Michael and I's reaction to that. Um, but they're definitely worth watching for sure. Well, Making everybody miserable, mostly because Shani was like obsessed with having to talk shit about them constantly oh my on her God. channel. Just so the horrible. parents had like defend themselves. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad for them. I know, like, nobody is perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, I her the parents probably did have faults and maybe handled things different and and not necessarily in the best way. But from everything that I've seen, they didn't do anything to deserve the amount of hate and vile, disgusting things that she would say about them. I don't think that they abused her. Um, you know, she claims things like her mom never loved her, never showed her affection, all these things. There's literally videos that I can show you guys if you need me to on here with her mom hugging her comforting her as she's crying about Rev and, and Chris and not having a, a man in her life at the time. Um, and her mom comes out and comforts her and tells her she loves her. I mean, it's on film, so it, it, it directly contradicts what Shani says. So, like I said, if you've been following the Shani stuff and um, you have not seen those uh, streams of her parents, you definitely should watch those. They are, they're worth watching for sure. What she was crying about was because Jason wasn't fully her boyfriend at the time. This is why I couldn't believe, you know, when they, she finally did get him. You know, I couldn't believe it when she finally did. But um, she wanted him because he was a millionaire and she knew she wouldn't have to work anymore. I know he's not going to like this. I know he's not going to like this. If this is the last video that I have I have to make for you, I want it to be this one. Look how different she looked back then, too. I'm just going to pour my whole heart out. Like, she was, you know, still uh, obviously chunky, but like her face and her hair, I mean, 
she looks like she's like at least taking the time to like try to look you know halfway decent she eats so much this. store dash like junk food literally because it was all just fast food shit yeah it's yeah. gonna put a toll on your body yeah definitely i think i think you're right about that with this my whole heart out for him it's just you've had my heart for really right marco really, shame really on us with a fake you've had uh, my heart eviction you know notice and at this time, they were only just, it. like, talking and texting. Right. It's not like they were together and broke up or ever even met in person. Right. She's obsessed with him because probably the money. It's her meal oh, ticket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up, Big Daddy Beats? For really I hope you're doing time. good. I have had your heart for a really long time. That's Jason. <laughs> you know it as well oh, as God. I do. <laughs> you're my favorite YouTuber. You're my favorite YouTuber. I watch every single one of your videos. And I think, I think, I, I think I'm your favorite YouTuber too. What was the thing? Oh my God. What was I spent had almost five shit. years just mm -hmm. bathing in your voice. What was the name? Bathing in it and hearing the Holy Spirit come out of you and just swimming in that. You perfect vessel. Perfect vessel. Oh my God. Perfect vessel. I'm gonna try it. All right. Ooh. And me, Mary Magdalene. I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Focus on the drive. Okay. Jenny, join me, Father in heaven. We believe your protection is around us. In Jesus' name. Why do you think I want to move to Scranton? Just for a chance, just for a chance of just running into you, just a oh chance. Oh my God! Of random so dramatic. Yeah. Um, some idiots. You said off topic, but Carrie, the live thumbnail from a few days ago is Shani holding a, holding and looking at the pizza box. Straight up, looks like it could be a Renaissance painting. Did you like that? <laughs> I uh, I picked that uh, specific one, the way that she was just staring lovingly into the pizza. Oh gosh, yeah. To you, classic Shanny. That maybe something would happen between us. Just something. That's all I want from you is something. Because I would do anything for love. For love. Just like, just a chance at it. Just a chance. That's all I want is just a chance. It's not asking for much. It's not asking for much. It's just a chance. Just a chance, guys. A chance of finding that is something scary real. Obsessed. And I feel it yeah. you so much. To be in perfect vessel for cat piss and fungus feet. <laughs> And I just uh, wanted um, so her new husband oh tonight. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Like, it, although it, it does piss me off the way that he talks to the kids and that. But yeah. Yeah, like, it shows what a real piece of shit they are. That's why I like yep. it. Yep. Mm hmm. Exactly. So true colors. Oh, that he needs to stop right. threatening us. And I agree, Grassburner. She wanted that 750 grand for sure. Threatening a 62 year old man who had his knees replaced and has to take blood thinners. And his heart isn't doing too well either. He happens to have a fib. Oh, G Man posted something, Firefly, on YouTube. Let me, I'll check it out. Hold on one second. You don't want to know what I think about you right now doing that. You don't want to know. But I can let it go. Because I can take a little bit of pleasure in the fact that you're going to find out the hard way. And I'm not going to say I told you so, but you're going to hear it in your head. You know, oh, the only... Um, Big Daddy Beats, you said, does she have an OnlyFans? I'm sure there are sex, sex offenders who would pay to watch her free willy show. <laughs> oh, God. Um, they used to have an OnlyFans. She doesn't have one now, but they did have one. And it was terrifying, so I don't recommend looking it up. The only justice out of this is that Jason's going to find out on his own what she's all about. I don't have any support. I don't have a mom. I don't have a dad. I don't have family. I'm the matriarch of the family. I'm the one who essentially wears the pants in the family. I'm the fucking most responsible one in this fucking house. 
He'll agree with that, believe it or not. The most responsible? Responsible yeah. people don't get sure. evicted for not paying their bills. <laughs> yeah, I go along with that. Yeah. Let's see. I'm the one. I, I, I'll be He's like. He's got very childhood, childish type things. Yeah, and my surroundings fucking look like that. It's true. Ah, uh, okay. G-Man made a short earlier. Okay, we'll definitely check that out. Uh -huh. I was just looking at cheap. He's a, he's a little boy, but I love yeah. him regardless. I love you too. Thanks, Jesse, for letting me know. You think more. That's true. I'll give you that. Definitely. If you, were you know, I make sure the bills are paid every month. Yeah. She makes sure the bills are paid every month, guys. Mm -hmm. Well, we know that's bullshit, Shani. Well, I might. You guys didn't pay your rent for like how many months? <laughs> Racked up a $16,000 uh rent uh payment that you needed to do and yeah i don't think that that's uh making sure that the bills are paid that's just me full of bills too. yeah you're mindful too but i'm like i make sure you make sure yeah yeah, yeah. it's very, done you're very the rudder i said to people you're my rudder it's an anchor I'm the boat. Sure, but right you're the boat yeah i'm, I'm the boat. leader you're right good at it. you're good at steering the boat i'm the fucking leader one pathetic That's soap story later. Sure. But I also have these marks on my boobs that don't heal. See, ever. Okay, pay attention to this part, guys. That was in Colorado. Yep, if you have not seen this, she's about to go over all these health issues that she's got. And you'll notice it's the same ones that she's claiming to have still to this day. Even though she's been to the doctor ten times since then and never gotten diagnosed with any of it. So, same story, same shit. Just a different day. You're good at it. You're good at steering the boat. I'm the fucking leader. One pathetic soap story later. But I also have these marks on my boobs that don't heal. Ever. And I also need to get tested for that. I need to get a fucking mammogram for my fucking breast. Because I probably have fucking cancer too. On top of every fucking other thing. I'm losing my mortality alone. And my heart, it feels like, like a fucking can crinkling. crinkling. That's how my heart <laughs> feels when it pumps blood. It feels Always like a heart dying. crinkling. Crinkling. And I I can't work. I, I have to get an MRI for my fucking brain. Because I'm pretty sure it's, it's fucking like Swiss cheese in there. there. <laughs> There's a goddamn MS that I need to get fucking all the fucking tests oh, for. Fuck. For right. testing for she breast. MS. Yep. MS cancer, fibromyalgia, osteoarthritis. What else? There is more. All the hard oh. ones that are really hard to uh, diagnose and definitively yeah. say you have. She has mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. She exactly. does some crinkling. Crinkle heart. I forgot about that. She's got crinkle heart. Cancer, MS, and heart disease. I know you can't do it, but like this is something I am isn't that weird? She refuses to believe that she could possibly have diabetes. But she wants she every does. other illness. She literally wants every other illness. But for some reason, she doesn't want diabetes. The only thing I can think is, since that might imply that it's a health issue because of her weight, she doesn't want to say that. Like, anything, anything you try to bring up and say, yeah, you have this health problem or you have this issue, but if you lost a little bit of weight you would probably feel better and you would be able to, she will not hear that. She will not hear it. She doesn't want to believe that anything is caused by her being overweight. And so I'm assuming that's why she refuses to admit that she might have diabetes or something like that. I have to take the test, Jason. And I know what they're gonna leave that I know what it's gonna say too. I already know what it's gonna say. It's gonna say I have all of that. Have it I all. can't walk! What's you up, single dad life? You have a question? Well, I may have an answer. Let you know, know, it used to be I was able to walk a little to be able to go from one area to another. Now I can't even do that! What the fuck am I gonna do? Jeez. <laughs> am I Oh yeah, this part. Why? I gotta go down. <laughs> Excuse me. 
I can't breathe. I'm gonna have a heart attack. What the fuck? Constantly needs people to help her and run to the I hospital. Like people that have know, yeah. real panic attacks and stuff, you deal with it on your own, and right. it sucks. It's awful, but you're not asking for help usually. Right. Like I don't. I, I have to no. retreat into my little happy space and deal with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have I have had to go um in the past to the emergency room for panic attacks and stuff before because my heart rate goes up really really high. But That's um now I'm yeah this, yeah. yeah. Now that I'm on medication for that, um, my heart rate doesn't go up that high. I still have the panic attacks from time to time, but I'm able to manage them, like you said, at home on my mm -hmm. own. Just, you know, doing techniques that work for me to um, bring but it back But you don't like down. scream asking for help from other people, right? Like, I don't. What is, yeah, well, like, what's, you yeah, just, what's it, what are they going to be able to do? Nobody's going to be able to do you're anything. You're freaking out your you. family and stuff. Yes. Yeah. And like Michael, he always, you know, he's like a big fixer. Like he likes to, you know, fix the problem. And so right. it's like very um, hard for him because he, there's like nothing really he can do. Um, oh, yeah. But, yeah. but he wants to, you know? That. Yeah. So, but also like I've never, when I've had my panic attacks, no matter how bad they've ever gotten, no matter how extreme, whatever, I never do it like where my son can hear it like screaming for help and yeah because massive like, freak out like that and yelling right it's not gonna help and all you're gonna do is upset everyone else um and it's actually i mean i would think it's gonna have the opposite effect if you're like getting you know screaming and getting all hyper and things with it. like the best thing you can do is just like sit down or lay down and take some deep breaths and just calm yourself don't agitate it even more you know Screaming and shit is not going to help it, basically, is the point I'm trying to make. I can't do it. I am so helpless, Jason. I can't even walk. What the fuck am I going to do? I would put up right here and pull that fucking trigger. I took care of you. Spent $700,000. That's what you did. Oh, really? All these right. games you bought, all this ass. fucking stupid technology we don't need you bought. Ass and did nothing. Yeah, That's I you. sat on my ass That's cooking you. and cleaning for you, busting That's my you. ass off you for you. Clean. I did everything. Oh, you yeah. You sat on your ass, did nothing for three years. Yeah. That's what you did. Yeah, okay, Jason. Okay, Jason. That's not true, but <coughs> keep saying it. <laughs> and he's really going to complain for me getting $800 worth of makeup when he told me to and clothes and food and, and say that's the reason why we have no money without ever looking into all the fucking stupid shit he buys like all the furniture you keep buying when everything you i get is practical one place to the other you it has reason that money shanny i don't you're just mean you're just mean just to be yeah, mean i don't care I know you don't care. You don't I, care about me. You spent all my money. I do, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I was literally telling you stop buying this stuff when we knew when the money I was running around. I'd be moving around if you're asking come to me in, in, in fucking Pennsylvania from Minnesota when you pushed yourself into my life. I pushed you in. Yes, you did. Yeah. No, Coctopus, I haven't played that one yet. Do I need to? Is that... I like Drader's stuff, so I'd be down for that. I'll have to look into it. Jason, you always say this when we get in a fight. And then you come back and say, I'm sorry I said all these no, things to you. Sorry yeah, right. No, yeah, you're going to say sorry again. Yeah, because you're probably going to run at me and try and punch me and beat me like you did last You time. literally just tried to punch me. Did you see my nose, guys? Yep. Did you see my eyes? Yep. She punched the shit out of me. That's a lie. That's a lie is and you know lie? it. Is that a lie? Yes, it is. No, you're just, it's not you're a lie. Will you just stop this, Jason? I was asking people for money, and you turned this into this big fucking fight. I feel like you're pushing me away. Yeah. Do you? 
Yeah, wow. and Cogtopus, you know that you can jump on anytime you want to with us. Just let me know and I'll send you the link. I would have done that when I still had money. I'm not dumb. I'm with you and I love you and I'm sorry that I have this issue with the name calling. I mean that. The music to this is hilarious. This has nothing to do with money or any, it never did. It was a God thing. I was getting never. And I know that and I'm really fucking sorry about the issues I have. If it was a God thing, you'd get on your knees and ask Jesus to stop doing this to you. And you'd actually apply the Bible. How do I apply the Bible? Right, you mean prayer? How I about what Jesus that. tells you about how to treat others? Yeah, I want to be like that. Bro. Then do it. Then do it. Then do it. There's a reason you're not happy, Jesus. Yeah. I'm praying about it's not going to solve the issue. The issue is sitting next to you. Look at that arm. Holy. Wow. That's crazy. That's, dude, that's got to be uncomfortable. I know. That that's big. See, that's a prime example of what I mean. Like, you know, I do think that Shani probably does deal with, like, a lot of pain and um, mobility issues or whatever, but that's there is a reason, and there is something she can do about it, but yeah, she will not ever um, she won't do anything about Diet, it. So. exercise. No, she just doesn't want to hear little. it. a little. I just got this eviction notice that we gotta be kicked out here in the weekend and we're losing our fucking car and everything all at once. I need fucking help. I don't know what to do. I'm fucking panicking. I've tried all I can. My fucking phone. It's they sent me a fucking shitty fucking phone and it's gone. I need fucking help. Someone help me. Put me on. Just shoot me for one second. Here, you hold it. I'm fucking panicking. Okay, I'm fucking panicking. No. This is proof. No. Run around. This is proof right here. Yeah, because that's the best thing to do when you're panicking is to just start running around and screaming and shit. Make that's phone gonna... calls. Right. Okay, that the Democratic Party has done nothing to help anyone. The government has done nothing to help anyone. I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack. There was. I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack. I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack. Stairwells are utterly. Oh, they tried to warn me to this. This uh, is nasty yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. This is some of the um, tour of the apartment or townhome that they lived in in Colorado before they moved back to. Um, Pennsylvania. So if you are triggered by stuff like uh, that and child abuse, things like that, you might want to um, look away because it's definitely, it shows a lot of the neglect that was going on. I don't know who would be cheaper to pay to remove this and replace it or just to clean it. Uh, okay, so I gotta hold my breath in here because I can smell this is where it's coming from. They've left the bathroom lights on and the uh, vent. Ugh, this is so gross. It's, it's right next to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You see like little paw prints they and all that. So they're dragging us through the house. Oh yeah. It's At awful. All. Just awful. I gotta open these windows. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm getting some secondhand smoke. Wash and dry don't look like they were ever used. And I'm unsure what actually it is that I'm got a mini fridge and a microwave in the bedroom. Yeah, I so, so weird. Odd. Yeah, that they literally were, I guess, too lazy to just go downstairs to make something so they have a microwave it even had like a hot plate like where he was cooking shit up in there yeah and in then the bathroom's like full of spices and yeah it's got stuff. like a spice rack and shit yeah it's so bizarre and, like, and then of course look room. at all the mess jesus is gonna talk about you to the about you in this scenario on judgment day and you're not gonna have a good report card because when jesus christ looks at you and be like why didn't you stop the fight? You think it's funny, you piece of shit? 
You think this is funny? LOL. You think this is funny? You think this is funny? It's not fun. I'll never eat where you shit. Okay. So yeah, that was and, and let me grab the um link for that channel. Um oh, that's a good point. If they're like just staying in that room and talking in the room, they're not yeah, talking for I'll the children. Good. True. That is a good said point. She wow. tried to joke with him to make him feel better by commenting that it was convenient he no longer needed a comb since his hair was falling out. The loving couple met as young teenagers in 1979 before marrying in 19. 19- oh, they started another one. Um, I'm dropping the link in the chat to the channel that last video that we saw that I just played, and the channel is called Foodie Booty. And if you have not checked them out, definitely do so and like and subscribe because they do some great content, really funny stuff too. Warned her not to touch him. And that if she cried or showed too much emotion, they would kick her out of his room. She chose to ignore many of the warnings from doctors to stay away and would move the protective plastic around him in order to see Vasily. Oh my god. She recalled, But I was 22, madly in love with my husband. With every cell of my body, I wanted to Nina, believe that this was fume. I don't know, but I would love to see that. I would love to see that if it exists. I know I've heard about people talk about it and i know the story but i've never seen the video with it so after he died vasily's body had to be buried in a metal coffin awesome. because it was Thank still you, filled with dangerous levels of radiation Holy well, he was also like buried that. below zinc and concrete to keep the public safe Lyudmila said they couldn't get shoes on him because his feet had swelled up they had to cut up the formal wear too because they couldn't get it on him there wasn't a whole body to put it on Two months later, she gave birth to a baby girl who died only four hours later. Her daughter suffered from congenital heart malformation and cirrhosis of the liver. Which- it was from the radiation. Ah, yeah. oh, no. That's horrible. That's horrible. That poor that's poor woman lost say, a that's horrible. and a baby. That's fucking heartbreaking shit. Oh. Just horrible. She said she was madly in love with him. Mm-hmm. Sad. Very sad shit. Which are both consequences of radiation exposure. The HBO show Chernobyl, based on the real disaster, has become a binging sensation. In fact, it is the highest rated show on IMDb. Really? Most TV shows are thought to dramatize certain aspects of such disasters to make the story more extreme. But in this case, it seems that no mere media reenactment can truly do complete justice to how horrific that fateful day was. The series' interpretation of the disaster has been described by the former Chernobyl plant deputy director, Alexander Kovalenko, as Baby, I don't know. the series more or less reflected the drama of the situation, but in real life, it was much worse. Lyudmila and Vasily appear as some of the most tragic characters in the HBO series. When the show Chernobyl premiered, Lyudmila fell under intense scrutiny for her choice to visit her husband while he was dangerously radioactive in the hospital. She later told BBC that journalists, quote, were asking me why I had been at my husband's bedside, knowing that I was pregnant at the time. But tell me, how could you leave him? I thought my baby was safe inside me. We didn't know anything about radiation then. She went on to say that after watching the show, people insinuated, quote, that I killed my baby. She now says that she never actually gave permission to anyone to tell her story, despite HBO's claim otherwise. She wrote her own story in a book published in 1997 titled Voices for Chernobyl. Though 30 years has passed since the horrible disaster stole her husband and later her daughter, Lyudmila has said, There is no day that I don't think about my husband and daughter. Not a day that I don't feel pain. But Vasily's heart-wrenching story is only one of many. On April 27th, the day following the explosion, the evacuation began. 
30,000 people were in immediate area of the Chernobyl reactor explosion and a total Oh my god, that's so horrible and horrifying. 35,000 people. Jesus. That's insane. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's awful. Oh, okay, it's still there. Nuts. Five <sighs> people affected by this fucking thing. No, and it didn't need to happen. No. Total of 135,000 had to be evacuated. Eventually, 350,000 people were evacuated because of the disaster, and the resettlement is still uncompleted today. Those in the area were exposed to a similar amount of radioactivity as the survivors of the Hiroshima atomic bomb in 1945. 45 REM, a measure. All right, I'm gonna let's uh every day. Let's watch. Let's see what G-Man, um, he posted a short today. So let's see what he has to say because Shani and Rev are just being extremely boring. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sowing and Reaping. And this video is specifically for um, Revelation News, aka Jason. Um, dude, I want you to think about this a minute now. You went from talking about prophecy and doing truther videos to telling people that you will not stream unless you have enough money to get high and you believe you're a Christian and you claim that you hold the principles of Jesus Christ. The Christian community doesn't recognize you as a Christian, dude. And if you don't believe me, do a survey. It's bad right now. You literally did a stream telling people that you will not do a stream unless you have a, enough money to get high. Ridiculous. Mm. Hello, everybody. He's got a point. He's got a point. I'll give him that. Um, here, I want to pull this up real quick, too. There's a new... Um, Video that came out on Lowell's Cal Productions page channel today. So let's watch that. Let's see what, what we got here. Ah! Hungry, tired, you just want to hit a bitch. Do you have a temperature? Do you have E. coli in your house? Do you have fibro? Is your whole skull on fire? Are you in need of Delta 8? Prescription medicine? Nah. Or the foods? Even more food? Oh, foods! <laughs> Whatever that is, it's all here. Alcohol! Is your boyfriend not allowed to drink? Oh, you can have some. Call us on 555 Warp Speed. <laughs> <laughs> Foods and moods, mobile delivery service. We're here to service both. Oh, hold on. Did I lose you? <clears throat> yeah, my uh, computer crashed. Oh. So well, here, really, I'm going to start this. To start that. I'll start Sorry this at that. the... Uh, no, no. I'm just glad I noticed because I was like, uh-oh, where did you go? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to restart. Lulz Cal Productions put out a new video. Um... So it looks like it's pretty funny. We're going to oh, watch nice. it real quick. Yeah. Sweet. Ah! Hungry, tired, you just want to hit a bitch. Do you have a temperature? Do you have E. coli in your house? <laughs> Do you have fibro? Is your whole skull on fire? Are you in need of Delta 8? Prescription medicine? Nah. Or the foods? <laughs> Even more food? Oh, foods! <laughs> Whatever that is, it's all here. Alcohol! Is your boyfriend not allowed to drink? Oh, you can have some. <laughs> Call us on 555 Warp Speed. <laughs> foods and Moods, mobile delivery service. We're here to service both. Foods and moods. We deliver my arrow, 
Dive in! <laughs> And I see, guys. Call, call, call now on 555 five, five, five. Diabetes. <laughs> Ooh, another happy customer. <laughs> Just look at that happy customer. She's blazed, guys. <laughs> you live in the middle of nowhere, or are you just a lazy sack of shit? <laughs> call us now on 555 five, 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 Diabetes. Diabetes. Never takes your fancy. Cash App donations welcome. Oh, I love, I love well that. That was awesome. Um, I'm dropping the link in the chat to Lulz Cow Productions channel. Definitely go and subscribe and check out their content. Really funny stuff. Really, really funny stuff. All right. Let's check back in with these two idiots and see what they're doing now. A whole lot of nothing, I'm sure. I still wish it was the wish list stuff. Half yeah. yeah. But that's a nice surprise, too, though. I actually like that a and lot. The, 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 and that covers it? Yeah. You just push that. Exactly. Wow. I really like this, actually. That's a nice This cup. is a nice tumbler, actually. Actually. It's your shit hot and cold. Yeah, let me put it on a bigger vid for you to see. Ooh, Why her fingernails. Look at her jewel. fingernails. Oh, God, dude. The do you see that? On. Wow, how do you that do that? That is awful. That's from like gardening. Like, I love the, it. Yeah, they don't, and she doesn't do anything. Couch. But yeah, I love it. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck. Stop See, ordering tumblers. Get a fucking nail Me clipper. Me too. I love Yoshi as a kid. nail brush. So that's nostalgic. I'm putting my Doctor P in here. Go for it. Your Doctor P. I'm nice. gonna see how cold it can get. Shannon, so really fucking nice. with her because that's Jules. Is the uh, Little yeah. avatar thing? Yeah, I guess so. Those nails, I can't get over oh that. Oh my god, I know. Disgusting. Actually, we really like it, actually. I can't imagine having nails like that. Just, that's mm -mm. so. Keeps a good and that, amount And then she's always man. constantly scratching at her head and scratching oh, yeah, at like a different place. Like, that's yeah. oh, just god. Food. Nice. Disgusting. It's nice. I think it's 18 ounces. It seems to make it really cold too. Yeah. Yeah, I probably it, made it I mean, colder. It's got, yeah, that, it's that like makes got, sense. You can tell it's insulated. Yeah, it's like colder than it should be. Yeah. Right, that makes sense. I like this. Thank oh, you, Jules. Thank you, Firefly. Yeah. That's a 10, Jules. That's thank you, awesome. Firefly, for the super chat or the super sticker. Very cute. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh, okay. Thank you, Drag. All right. Thank you, Drag. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't him. Oh, no, it I wasn't bet it him. Was Jules, it man. was Jules then. I bet it was. Yeah. Only she would do this. Yeah. I like that graphic. I like that graphic a lot. He's yeah, so actually. Right? The Pudgy Yoshi. I'll wear her t-shirts. It's <laughs> cool. Better get a big one. Yoshi Army. Yeah, better get a big of one. Stitch the other. Right? Oh, look at the dirty fingers again. That's Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, I God, love it. that's so foul, dude. Shani, you need to get some kind of like scrubbing brush. Yeah, really, those like, cups will keep ice in a cup shit all day. Out of your yeah, panel. I like, like it. You know she doesn't so fucking bathe. It's a good Hot water. quality cup, dude. Like, go at you, it. You know she's not bathing. For her nails to be that mm -hmm. disgusting. No, that would come yeah. clean, like just doing your hair. Right, like, yeah, exactly. I know. That's why it's like, dude, oh, that my God. And she's surprised that she has rashes and shit all the time. Like, Yeah, ugh. she's got that nasty cradle like cap. A type of Fucking deal. rash won't go I'm away. honored to have a, a Yoshi cup. That's awesome. Yes, I'm honored. I love the graphic. I just Third love time. it. I do, too. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's Yoshi, but it's a variation on Yoshi. It's not... Exactly, Yoshi. Exactly. I like it. My, uh, you know, like, 10-year-old nephew would probably like it. Chernobyl. Right. <laughs> At least 4,500 I mean, deaths dude, from cancer. It's Yoshi on a, a cup. That's fucking right. Horrible, that, ugh, that's Fuck. horrible shit. 
Oh, I see Rev's got Red Bull. You and you can drink without anybody knowing what. <laughs> yeah, we never get booze, so. No, we never get booze. We sure. never get booze. Shannon, you just drank a bottle show. of wine. Yeah, you just drank a bottle of wine the other day. What are you talking about? Why have booze when you can have cannabis? Mm -hmm. What's up, sock Good account? Products. How are you doing? Hemp for us. Yeah. Hemp. Hi, Dijon for Mustard. Now. Yeah, that's what we got to have. Which is actually probably more expensive than weed. Probably. In the long run. What's up, Jasmine? What is shake over booze? How are you doing today? Correct. Uh, a blunt over booze drag. A blunt. Granddaddy Perp Blunt. You would be in heaven, Drag. You ever partake in, in the plant, Drag Knot? What's I was up, getting Sandra? these Granddaddy Purple joints What's out up, in JB? Colorado at exclusive cannabis place. And they were... Oh, my God. I like had a flashback, I think. Oh, okay. So good. Sir, the most harmful radiation right, from the Bobby blast Joe? happened in you. the first weeks after the explosion. Oh, really? I have to be careful about how much caffeine and stuff I drink, too, because that can definitely agitate, you know, anxiety if you're, if you're already kind of dealing with it a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what a McDonald's coffee does to me. It's really? Too much caffeine or something. I get all jittery and panicky. I know. I hate that. That was a yeah. great strength. I'm, like, really sensitive to... Um, uh like body body sensation type things so like if my heart rate goes up a little bit like i feel it like and immediately kind of like start to get that panicked feeling or whatever oh, so yeah so, yeah so caffeine is definitely something i'm watch when i'm doing because i mean something small like that can j be just enough to kind of like ooh, start to send you into that Set place. It off. Mm -hmm. to entomb reactor four in addition, an entire square mile of forest surrounding the site was cut quick. down right and burned yeah, to try to reduce the radioactivity near Chernobyl. And just as importantly, to stop it from spreading. Once the massive fires were put out at Chernobyl and people were moved, the next emergency became the need to drain the tanks below Reactor 4. There were 43 million gallons of water sitting below the still burning nuclear reactor. The firefighters who had first responded had actually tried to drain the water, but were unsuccessful. The emergency was that the core of the reactor was actually still melting, and it was heading down towards the huge pool of water that, if mixed, would have caused a second enormous steam explosion. The story is often told that the three men who went into Reactor 4 to drain the tanks of water were heroic volunteers who knew they were likely going to their deaths. Many people believe they chose to dive below the reactor to open a valve to release in order to save their country. But fucking heroes. Like the guys at 9-11, really. Yeah, man. It's 9-11 level shit. That's a great gift, I gotta say. It is. I love these things. Yeah, yeah, that that's a 10 gift. Yeah, this Oh, Bobby Joe. I know exactly how you feel. You said you've been dosed, diagnosed with anticipatory anxiety. The doctor told me the first panic attack I had scared me so bad. I'm constantly dreading the next one which ultimately makes it happen. Yes. Yes, I know exactly what you're going through, Bobby Joe, and that is a horrible feeling. It really is because it's just like you know how bad and extreme and intense the panic attack was that you constantly are like paranoid that it's going to happen again or and so when you feel your body do a little bit of something you're like oh no is this about to happen is this about to happen and it yeah and, and then it triggers it in itself it's a bad it's a really bad like cycle and um yeah it's tough hang in there i know what you're feeling What's Admiral? What's up, Admiral? What's up, Rocket? Oh, Reb is doing the next thing. What happened to the sound? Are they talking? I don't hear anything. Do you guys hear anything? 
think they got they muted or something. Vault. What's up, Yorkshire Rose? Logitech Brio. Good now. It looks like it's good. There we go. screwed something up. Yeah, there. that yeah. was messed up, man. That was, I believe, an audio coffee? driver crash. All that coffee talk I had to have one. I don't yeah. know why I did that. Start putting it in your mind. Yeah. System yep. thing. Mm hmm Okay. Andrew Leatherborough. See, sounds like an Englishman. See, I'm awesome because I. What's can up, I blame Rick. Do that shit real fast. Basically, there it's just the same. Oh, excuse me, same thing, different day. I mean, they just keep doing these reaction videos where they sit and watch boring content and uh, don't say a whole lot. So probably won't be um, covering it for too much longer today because it's just it's painful to try to sit through this. Water this is a gift. Their knees. As they waded through it's the a dusky tumbler. basement, walking through a corridor. It's a tumbler. Yoshi cup. Yeah, it's a Yoshi cup. Hi, Mary Jane. How are you doing? Hi, Mama of two. But that's uniquely Jules's Yoshi, I think. That is that is like, Jules I Yoshi. Think she made that, I think. I think she may be. <laughs> that was sweet of her. Yeah. She's trolling you. Cute. It's to plug her channel. It's, it's not out of the kindness of her and heart. She probably did it to piss off Carrie. Yeah, oh yeah. Probably. Oh That's yeah, to piss you off. You can use us it's any really way working. you want to get to Carrie. It's fine. Doesn't it seem like it's really working, Because I guys? knew she was no good from the start. Dang. I knew it. That Rev long seems so nervous with myriad pipes and valves. Right, right. He said of the group's Whatever. objective to locate Moving the correct on. valve. It was like finding a needle in a haystack. I think it might be. And yet, Aww, the determined you, divers Beats. did it anyway. The group of men are often referred to as... Okay, thanks, Shani. It was real. It, it really is cute and very nice. Love so you guys in the chat. You guys yes, are so sweet. Nice. Don't worry nice about cup. it. I'm good. I'm all good. Cup. Yeah, that's nice. That's not a cheap cup. No, I really like this. I know, me too. <laughs> I love Yoshi, so... And now that Jules is like, uh, we're good on good terms, pretty much. It's like, it's nice you to love dumb, Yoshi dumb. again. Yeah, exactly. I love Yoshi. We got Yoshi. Big love brain you. energy here. Cute. As the Suicide Squad, as their the expected survival squad. rate was so low. One of the men was the engineer, Alexei Adanenko, who wore no other protection against the radiation and the radioactive water, no. except for diving equipment. That was an Alexei idea. said... I never felt like a hero. I was doing my job. I was ordered to go there, so I went. I wasn't afraid. Initially, reports claimed that all three of the men had died from the exposure to radiation. But in fact, all three survived. Wow. No. It wasn't on my Amazon wish list. No. No, I'm pretty sure that's probably from Teespring or some merch. Yeah, site. I'm not sure ordered, where. And she ordered it first. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Which was sweet. They described their immense joy and relief upon fixing the problem, saying, When the searchlight beam fell on a pipe, we were joyous. The pipe led us to the valves. We heard the rush of water out of the tank, and in a few more minutes, we were being embraced by the guys. One of the divers passed away in 2005, but the two others still have survived to this day. The person who bought it from you said it was thirteen bucks. Well, it's it's nice thirteen bucks. I'll say yeah, that. Yeah, it's very nice. I love different cups and stuff. It's so nice. But that that's a twenty dollar cup. Yeah, in my <laughs> opinion. <laughs> but, <laughs> in his yeah, opinion, it's, nice. it's a twenty dollar yeah, cup. What is wrong with yeah, these exactly. people? For a long time. So that's like cool. my like, god. It's, like, it's sort of like an endorsement for Jules's channel. I don't care. It's fine. I like it. I think, yeah, I'm cool. finding a, a palate cleanser to watch because these it's two are sweet. boring I, the fuck I, out of me I right now. Sweet. You don't want to hear him freaking yep. out about this cup? <clears throat> I, I know, yeah. yeah. It's, it's so, worth double so what it costs. You Interesting. Go shut off a valve in Chernobyl. Holy shit, drag. Oh, thank you, Firefly, for the super chat. You said, 
keep spending money high on your own supply. <laughs> Thank you, Firefly. I appreciate you. If I was that I had the strength to fucking do it, I would do it. Yeah. To save my country. Let's see. Dude, you won't work any job. That's right. You would yeah, not go into right. a reactor Jesus. and what shut some critical about? valve. Smiling. You would not be right. a hero. Exactly. You would run. For Find Shanny. So I, the, my answer, Drag, is that I pray that I would have the courage to do what you these wouldn't. people did. Would you, you wouldn't. Would make love to me first? Type of bravery Ew. of the Ew. military police. God. Yeah, MPs are awesome people from what I know. What, Shanny? Would you make love to me first? More than once, yes. Ew, Thank ew, you. ew. We'll have, like, oh, I need to grab my phone charger real quick. I'll be right back, guys. Stay. Hold there on one go. second. Okay. And you go to the spa, yeah. and we go to a yeah, movie. So in a life or death, seconds say, matter emergency, he would go find Shady go. first to okay. make love. That's it. Then I'll see you in heaven. <laughs> Stay. Because of their brave actions, they prevented another, possibly even more deadly, explosion. Aforementioned expert Leatherbarrow emphasized the dire necessity of these unlikely heroes' actions, saying that, regardless of how anyone might try to downplay the importance of what they did that day, quote, they still went into a pitch-black, badly damaged basement beneath a molten reactor core that was slowly burning its way down to them. Badasses. Some experts on the Chernobyl disaster later explained that, had this trio not stepped up, to prevent this potential additional explosion, I mean, it's one half way of Europe's to, like, population could very well have been wiped out from the You want the link, Petty Patty? I would not send Shanny. Christ. Shanny's excellent radiation what kind of a man uh, shielding. Sends his wife into a, into a job like that? Are you kidding me? I'm going to watch her die, bleed out of her ears and eyes and mouth? No way. Are you fucking kidding me? He gonna protect me. Yeah, you ain't going into the bathing radiation bullshit. No. No way. Impending right. catastrophe. I'm back. Sorry about that. To make matters worse, the scope and range of radiation that good? this could have caused may me. have left a huge <laughs> chunk of Europe <laughs> completely and utterly uninhabitable for up to 500,000 <clears throat> years in its wake. The first person who fully understood the gravity of the situation of Chernobyl was Valerie Legasol. Jenny, have you been able to find out if my concerns about your wish list were justified? We don't know yet. We uh, haven't received I, I, anything I'm yet. starting to suspect that you have a point. Yeah, I'm starting to suspect because that Because I too. would think we would have had some of these items by now. Yeah. Good. Uh, How fast we'll is Amazon? Yeah. It could be that I mean, they are fairly fast. Yeah. Really? Dude, it tastes like I mean, weed. But you have to... Still, oh, like, really? There's still probably... Yeah. You can get stuff like Delivering if you have Amazon Christmas Prime, or, or at least up. I know for for me, you know? um, yeah, with Amazon Prime, you can get most things delivered in about two days. Where wow. I'm at, yeah, we'll eventually find out. But I'm lucky if it ships in two days after placing the order. Really? The yeah, Academy of Science slow. of the USSR Man. and became chief of the investigating response commission of the disaster. Get out there in the wild. Prior to the explosion at Chernobyl, so. he championed the need for better safety measures. Hey, okay. but I would like that, like, you know, get away. Like, I don't want to be near a lot of people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, it gets you know? old fast. Although it is a nice trade off to not deal with people. Um, Let's see. Uh, Dracul. Um, why are you lying to your audience about drag saying that community post he made was about your husband when multiple people told you it wasn't? Why haven't you told your audience the truth, Carrie? What are you talking about? Told them the truth. It wasn't my husband. That's all I've ever said about it. But thank you for the super chat. I appreciate the $15. Thank you so much. But I'm glad that I could give you a heads up on it. Yeah, thank you, Melly, on that. Yeah, thank you. People <laughs> equal shit. In a lot of cases, man. <laughs> I agree with that. They're, you're right about In that, Shani. In a lot Shani. of cases. Especially people like... ...have likely been much higher. He and the commission looked into the possible causes of the disaster, as well as ideas on how to prevent this type of catastrophe in the future. While they investigated, they couldn't stay in a hotel and ended up living in an evacuated hospital for the mentally ill. 
What? Legosov eventually suggested that liquid nitrogen should be put under the reactor in order to try to cool the core. This turned out to be a mistake. However, oh, yeah, as the core that, never like... melted through the concrete, and I got as you. a result, this actually resulted in more contamination for areas in Belarus. Oh, no. On April 26th, 1988, the anniversary of two years since the Chernobyl explosion, Legasov committed suicide. Aww. It was one day before he was <laughs> I meant blame to Rick. present the Pizza on Carrie, right? Into the disaster. Mm. Order a nice there pepperoni and mushroom about where he hung himself. Like Annie, like. Whether it was in his apartment, the stairwell of his apartment, or his office. What isn't contested is Legoslov's mental state after finishing his investigation at Chernobyl. He was under immense pressure from the Soviet government to censor his findings. But instead, his documents revealed previously unknown facts about the Chernobyl disaster. Many believe that his commitment to share the truth about Chernobyl brought more stress than he could handle. Following the disaster, the men in charge were taken to court, and a three-week trial ensued. The three men were 51-year-old Viktor Brukhanov, the plant director, Brukhanov. the chief engineer Brukhanov. Nikolai Fulman, and his deputy Anatoly Dyatlov. Brukhanov had become the plant's director at only 34 and was described as a well-liked, soft-spoken man. Before the disaster, his supervision brought Chernobyl to a uh, higher standard and was used to exemplify... Man, oh man. Yeah, it's like every other shit they've been doing. There's mm -hmm. nothing to talk about here. No. I know that we watched this on the goddamn podcast... So I know you've seen this, but I don't know if everybody um, else in the audience has seen this. So I'm going to pull it up really quick. Because that, it's uh, a good one. That, what was that? Oh, God, I just forgot the dude's name. Uh, cooking video you watched like yesterday, I think it was. Oh, it was... King Cobra. Yeah, King Cobra. That's Yeah. That kind of yeah. Oh, Drader. You want yeah, dude, I'm going to start doing more stuff on him because I think he's hilarious. And I just, I don't know, I love the guy, too. He just seems Well, so... that's the thing. He seems, I don't know anything about him. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong, but he seems like an okay dude. He has issues and stuff, but, like, yeah. he's, he somewhat seems like normal? He's, right. Not, he seems like he's good at heart, you know what I mean? Right, exactly, yeah. Not out to fuck people over to, to better himself. Right, exactly. Potentially. All right, so I'm gonna play a couple of um, these you got a couple from of super chats. There oh, too. did I? Oh, hold on, let me see. Um, Dracul, I literally saw you hearting comments that said it was about your husband, and when your audience members say it, it was you never corrected them. Be honest, Carrie. Thank you for the ten dollars, Dracul. You have a good day, okay? All right, I'm going to pull up Drader's video. People are asking about that. Let me drop the, the link in the chat to cool. um, to his channel so you guys make sure you go and check him out. Let's see. There we go. There's that. And I haven't seen these yet, so it's going to be new for me as well. But I have seen some of his other videos, and I know they're good, so... Let's see. This one was from just two hours ago. Shanty for Christ, Shanty's Pile of Food is the title. Let's see. Oh, Lord, isn't it nice to see that Shanty hasn't lost her appetite during <laughs> this whole breast cancer crisis she's going through? Thank God. <laughs> Why does Shanty have a oh, stack of food like next to her? On the party. floor. Yeah, yeah. Did you watch any of that last night? Uh, no, not live. I think I tried to catch a little today when it's like cleaning and stuff. I had it God, on. But... It was so boring again. Like I don't, and I don't understand why it was called a slumber party because they didn't do anything different. <laughs> At least not what I saw. The parts that I saw, but I, I admit I didn't cover the whole thing. Um, I just saw bits and pieces of it, but I was like, it's literally the same thing that they've been doing for the last week or so. So, yeah, that's why they're broke, though. You go to a uh, you know, convenience store and buy a big-ass yeah. bag of fucking ho-hos and junk food. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, there's, I mean, they make, basically every decision that these two make is a poor one. They never make a good decision to save their life. It's always just like, 
How can we spend more money than we need to? How can we be more unhealthy than we need to? How can we spend our time where we do nothing productive with our lives? Like it's, it's like they almost are trying to, to do the wrong thing. <laughs> instead of placing it in the kitchen where Jason has direct access. Think about that. Jason is the one who walks to the store. Uh oh. Walks. Do we got somebody pocket modding? Um, let's see. Looks like it might be Billy. Billy, are you pocket modding, hun? Um, I know it happened, so uh we'll figure it out. I apologize if it was an accident to anyone. Um but it may it may not have been an accident. I'm not sure. But either way, uh, just let me know if there's an issue. Um, okay. Back. And then when he gets back, he has to hand the food over to Shani, in which she places on the floor next to him out of Jason's uh, room. Mary Jane, pocket modding. For, for people who are uh, mods, they can time out or um, block people in the chat. And sometimes people, you know, will have their phones and they're they're doing other things and their their phone might be in their pocket or something and it accidentally um, times someone out or something like that. So that's what it means. It happens from time to time. I know I've done it a couple of times myself, so um, no big deal. And I, like I said, I apologize for for anybody anybody that it happened to. Um, but it does happen. We all make accidents and mistakes at times, you know. So I try to be while Jason sits over there on the other side with the jar of peanut butter. Smell does anybody not see what type I know. of why does he do that? I find that so strange. One point that um, Payne Lash made last night about that is that he thinks that he still like kind of does the same thing he used to have when he had his nose piercing in or whatever that is. Oh, is no, it... you just put them up there to sniff them. I know them. it's very strange. Like he messes with the um mustache i think a little too but he'll hold his fingers up there and i mean and you can tell he's like like he's sitting there like smelling it it's really weird <laughs> fucking monster you have to be to do that where you're sitting and you're controlling jason's calorie intake while you sit there and eat like a fucking hog all day all night indulging indulging <laughs> Just eating, oh eating, grubby, oh eating. Just get, get, get. Ah, ah, two liters, chips, uh, little Debbie's pizzas. While well, he's sitting over there starving with the stomach ache from eating peanut butter. And when you're watching this, do you guys notice how quickly Shani goes to the bathroom? That's because Shani can't go to the bathroom because she's afraid Jason might sneak in the food and get something to eat. <laughs> so I'm not surprised if she's not wiping, she's not washing her hands, because oh, she's she, worried. I can, I can promise you, she ain't washing them hands. She is not washing those hands. Jason might get in the food and eat it. <laughs> Jean, uh, yeah, Jeans is a nickname mm -hmm. that um, Michael has for me. Um, from one of his favorite shows that he watches. It's just his little nickname that he likes to call me nowadays, Mom Jeans. It's Mommy Jeans. Oh, that's yeah. Cute. So that's what it is, guys. But yeah, that's probably why you're getting ads for jeans a lot, Michael. Because <laughs> yeah. you're talking about it all the time. All right, let's see. There's one other one. This one, there's one that's 48 minutes. So we're not going to do that one, but we'll do this one. Shani for Christ, the district attorney. This should be fun. Yeah. This should be funny. Today is January 6th. Jenny's next appointment for the breast cancer is January 10th. This video, I'm going to provide you with proof, evidence of her lies. You'll see here where it comes down directly out of her mouth. There's no denying it. 100% proof where she states that she has tested positive for cancer. There's no getting out of it. January 10th rolls around. You're going to hear all kinds of excuses. She's going to tell you. Oh, 
look, another five dollars. Um, drag cool. You. So you don't deny my accusations, then it's almost like you know it's true and are running from the truth. No, I did deny it. I made that pretty clear. You just aren't accepting it. So, um, thank you for the five dollars, and I hope you have a great day. And if you want to give me more money, I'll be here, and you sure can. Thanks a lot. You, you had, you didn't hear what you heard. She didn't say this, but here it is. Just like when she sits here and tells you, you don't see what you're seeing. When you see her weighing over 600 pounds and telling you that she's skin and bones from the cancer. So this is to document her lies and what she's been doing. This is all out of her mouth, solid proof. She can't get out of it. She's going to try because she knows what she's doing is the lowest of the load that you can do. So you just watch what she does, how she's going to spin this. But she can't get out of it because we have this. Nay, nay, princess. <laughs> Mermaid yeah. princess. We got you, scumbag. We got you. Yeah, Big Daddy Beats, this is Drader. Oh my God, I didn't say I didn't have the test for cancer. I did, and it came up positive. I positive, I positive. Oh, I have thanks, to have Billy. other tests to oh, see where Oh, Billy, it is so they thank you so much for the super chat. Just cause, thank you, Billy, you're awesome. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. You can get a prognosis. When did you hear this? When I called the doctors. Yeah, that was interesting. Last right time about my blood test. When when this happened. Yeah, and Jason yeah. questions it, and she's got to go on the defensive and shut him up instantly. Right, right. And you can tell, like, just look at her face. Like she was, she is worried about this. When when she she like she knows the thing is she knows that she is lying. You know, she knows that she's doing the wrong oh, thing. Oh, it hit a nerve, dude. Because mm -hmm. I mean, the uncle just showed up and she got over that fast when she heard the shit that somebody reported her to the DA. Uh huh. She's like, and oh she fuck. Still, she still hasn't stopped talking about it either. I mean, she constantly is talking about that. And, oh, I'm not getting it, like, just keeps on kind of repeating the same things over and over again. It's like, uh, thou protests too much, Shani. Yep. Yeah, she probably Googled that shit and seen what? some cases where people got, you know, in serious shit for claiming mm -hmm. to have cancer and mm -hmm. scamming yeah. over that. And she's, she's definitely right on that line. I mean, I don't know that anything she's done yet is criminal, but she's getting dangerously close to it if she doesn't watch out. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. That's why she's maybe now. Mm -hmm. Maybe now she's an appointment. Oh yeah, and I still don't know if I even believe there is an appointment. No, I mean, it's gonna get canceled. Like I put a poll something. up on the goddamn podcast channel of Did like, you? what do you think is gonna happen? And everyone's like, yeah, it's it's one of the options. Like, it's gonna get canceled. She cancels it, or the trolls canceled it on her. Like, she won't be going. No, and it's gonna be someone else's fault. Yep. It's predictable. She's very, if anything, she's very predictable. Doubt the way I did. I... Oh, shut up, Rudolph. I'm not soliciting money from anyone. Idiot. <laughs> so I can have gas. So I can go to the doctor and I can get some medicine because I can't do this anymore, but I need help. So if you would like to help me, please do. That hair. <laughs> I'm trying to earn money as sick as I am, so. All right, Dracul. So you didn't heart comments and corrected everyone because that's why I was talking about, but keep denying it, keep lying, more receipts to come. Yes, please, all your receipts. I, I would love that. And continue to give me money. If that's what you want to do with your money, that's completely fine with me. So that's good thanks way again. To get, your, um, get your point out there. Keep, keep doing yeah. the simple thoughts, sir. Yeah, but I think I made Works. it like really clear what i was saying you're the one that, you're the only one that doesn't seem to understand it so but feel free to keep asking and i'll keep giving you the same answer please go over to twitch.tv slash 
Shani needs love and help support me. Thank you. Because it's obvious where it is. But is there other stuff is the question. Has it spread is the question. <laughs> so you're waiting to find out how long you're going to live. So you've been diagnosed and stuff. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's learning where the cancer is exactly get it get into actually know where it is inside my body which we know it's in the breast area per se but per getting se. to know like where per it se, is yeah. and how how it's grown i haven't gotten to that yet that stage yet D does that make any sense because that's how it works with cancer they diagnose you and make you wait yeah how bad has it and been don't do any treatments that's what's up gamer at. fam Hope you're doing good. So if you can't understand that, I can't help you. Oh, God. I have Jenny. not been claiming to have cancer for years. Shut the fuck up. I've been saying there's something wrong with my breasts for years. Fuck you. Oh, I love yeah, this video. You get to see me die. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm cancer. So I hope you're fucking happy. Uh, the horse I am now. a woman who is suffering from breast cancer, MS. Are you going to the DA and saying I'm lying about a fucking uh, cancer diagnosis and shit? Well, you know what? I still have the right not to give my information over to the DA if I wanted to. Guess not that. How it works. Did you know that? Not if they charge you. I'm not asking donations for the premise of being sick. When did I ever fucking do that? Oh, Billy. I... Billy, you're being too kind. Thank you so much for the super chat. Just because, again, you know what? You guys are making my day. Thank you so much. Truly, I appreciate that. I can have gas so I can go to the doctor and I can get some medicine because I can't do this anymore, but I need help. So if you would like to help me, please do. Oh wait, you know what? My my, I don't think that that was another um, super chat. It was actually the one that you yeah, put before. Murder. Yeah, for some reason my screen, my chat, it went back up. So I thought it was another one. My bad. Sorry about that. Still appreciate you just as much though. <laughs> I'm trying to earn money, as sick as I am, so please go over to twitch.tv slash Shani Needs Love and help support me. Thank you. We will miss you when you're gone. Thank you. When you're new. Dreckhole, I'm not hearing a no. You know it's true. I don't know what you're, what you're even referring to now. You're not hearing a no. A no what? I said that it wasn't my husband, um, and that's really all I have said about it, and there's really nothing else to say about it. I'm not sure what you're, um, what you're going after here, but it wasn't my husband. I didn't say that it was ever my husband, um, and that's really, I mean, it doesn't go any further than that. So thanks again for the super chat. And you go into Shani's channel. You'll soon find out that Shani portrays herself as this sick woman who is dying of cancer, who can't work, and she's relying on you, the viewer, to support her. That's why she has the, the name Shani Needs Love. Mm-hmm. That is right. It's a big pity party based around her having cancer. Now, what Those happens most, like, when a person evidence? who gets suckered? What's Some that? of those videos wasn't the most damning evidence. She's not directly saying I need right. money to get to a cancer appointment because I'm going right. to. But it's, she's definitely on that line. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Know what she's doing. She knows it. Right. Exactly. There's a ton of evidence out there. It's just so much to wade through. Mm hmm Into this, gives her $40, okay? $40, 
and then finds all this stuff out about this cancer bullshit. This is what happens. Oh, thank you, Billy. This is a new one. <laughs> Drader being an, an all inspector gadget. I love it. Right? I love it too. I love I've I've always liked his content. I think he's hilarious. And he just says it like he feels it, you know what I mean? He doesn't hold back. Um, but thank you, Billy, for the super chat. I appreciate you. Right here. Carrie Springer. Carrie. You wanna be an Carrie, asshole to me and Carrie. fucking pressure me and shit and fucking talk shit about me and fucking say shit about me and fucking be a bitch about shit. What do you fucking expect? You think just because you donate money, you deserve every single fucking thing in my life? You deserve answers to everything? Fuck that shit, man. Well, not answers to everything, Shani, but maybe answers to a few things. Like these ridiculous claims that you have that you're dying of cancer. I mean, they don't want to ask you everything, but that's a pretty big uh, question. That's a pretty big issue that you're very um, vague about, so... Don't be surprised. And get money like, what for do you it. mean? Am I supposed to like put up with bullshit just because like I... um... No. No, money does not mean I have to be abused. Um, another super chat. Don't play dumb. You know I'm talking about you harding comments and not correcting people in your post. Um, okay, I hearted comments. Guilty as charged. Thanks again for the super chat. See how she did that? Did you see it? Seeing it with your own eyes and ears, huh? Well, that's how Shani operates. Shani suckers these people I heard in. all the comments. <laughs> Praise yeah, on I decent people. podcast channel. Like, yeah. I had somebody is like, do you think you should maybe consider renaming it not the goddamn podcast? Like, I could help you come up with better names that's not against God. Like, uh -oh. okay. <laughs> that's yeah. cool. That's kind of not the point of this thing. But, right. uh, you know, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I try to be like, I, I if, if it's not something that's like mean spirited or anything like that, I do try to like heart all the comments just so people know that i i've seen them and i'm seeing interacting them yeah, and, yeah exactly and i appreciate them taking the time you know people trying to help someone who's claiming to have cancer but as soon as that person starts to question what's really going on shani gets rid of them immediately she knows that that person will never donate any more money to her that so person is gone. Down. You can't keep that person around. You'll fuck up your narrative. That person will be in there mm -hmm. typing this stuff. She can't let the other viewers see that. The other people might know, might figure it out before they get their wallets out. I'm a good person, goddammit. I'm going to conclude with this last clip. Look how he's comforting Shani during wow. her struggle through this crisis of having breast cancer. She knows that. See, push look his at him. Where Isn't he, he so lost support his mama exactly. over cancer? She's going to exactly. capitalize on that and know exactly what to do. Yeah, the other day, I don't know if it was in this stream, but I know the other day they were when they were doing a stream and, and the cancer thing got brought up and she was talking about it and she started acting like she was like breaking down crying and he legitimately, I was looking at his face, and he legitimately looked like he was, like, about to burst into tears. I was like bringing crying. up memories of his mama going through it. That was yeah. tragic for him. He's a mama's boy, and that's all he knew. Right. And now Shani's kind of taking over that role as being mama, so it's hitting real yeah. close to home. It's really, like, it's when you look at it like that and the way that she manipulates things, it's like, God, that is so fucked up. From doing shit like that to drinking in front of him to controlling every little thing like he has to ask for permission for food and shit like it's just mind-blowing the way that they're relate the dynamic of their relationship it really yeah, is it's she like really wants cancer so she can get all the money and support and fucking uh well fundraise off i guess it wouldn't be scamming she actually had it and that's why she actually wants cancer yeah won't have to work yeah it's 
It's crazy. And it's like, I almost feel bad for him, but then I remember all the stuff that he's done and I'm like, yeah, I really don't feel bad for him. No, he deserves to be yeah. in this position. He, he's a grown deserve- man that can leave. Yep. But they deserve you, each other. Uh, yeah. Abusing the children stuff, dude, have at it. Be treated this way because you don't deserve better. Yeah. But the messed up thing about this is, guys, Jason lost his mother to cancer. He's reliving it again through Shani. Shani's making him suffer. Mm -hmm. So all the focus is being put on Shani. Jason can't get the help that he needs because all the resources are going towards Shani. He gets nothing. So he has to deal with his uh, mental problems with no help whatsoever. So that's why it's important that a relative of of Rev's was notified to what's going on here before Jason does something fucking uh, horrendous. And you could just imagine what that is. That's why the uncle, a relative, someone outside of Shani needed to know what's going on. Absolutely. Scamming the uncle with the cancer. End of story. Yeah. Nay, nay, can't live there and have it paid for. Yeah. And I do. I do that. Mm -hmm. She badmouthed that uncle constantly, like from the moment they arrived. And he doesn't like her. So why is he putting up with this shit now? Right. It's Rev sitting there crying, saying, oh, my wife is dying. You have to give us a place. Yeah. You know, oh, God. Many people have said I'm really, really fat, but I look at myself and I'm like. Trigger warning. Prepare your eyes, please. What's up? Please notice me. How are you doing? Damn, girl. Hope you're doing you good. have made progress. <laughs> made a lot of progress and frankly i don't think i look bad in oh my, my god and i think it's if going down post this, more have and more and more or something, frankly but... right frankly so basically i used to be 570 pounds and um i'm now 270 Okay. And I feel so good about myself no that I'm 270 now, and I've lost so much weight over the years. That's 300 pounds. That's more than me now that I've lost. So, all the girls out there feeling bad about themselves and thinking that they can't feel sexy, that isn't true. You are sexy. People just don't want to accept you for who you are and how much you work for what you want. Be strong, ladies. Don't let men put you down. You're gorgeous, and you damn well know it. And you Pete damn well and Maranatha. know it. That's right. Pete and Maranatha. <laughs> That's right, Shani. <laughs> You're so right, Shani. Oh, Lord. All right, let's check back in with them and see what they're doing now. Oh, look. They're doing the same thing. We should do Gotta that love it, right? On the morning of the 13th of September, three Japanese nuclear technicians yeah. named Kisashi Content Uchi, that you can't commentate on. There's nothing here. She's not even watching it. Like, look at her. She's just doing it on her phone. She's not even watching it. Work. The JCO plant was Sesame Street or something for real, but they created a few rods <laughs> before the power plant. They did this by process of converting uranium hexafluoride into uranium dioxide. This would be the Tokaimura plant's first batch of fuel in three years. As such, there were no dedicated trained staff for this role, and whichever technicians happened to be available at the time fulfilled this role. The approved procedure to make this fuel is that the uranium powder is dissolved in nitric acid in the dissolution tank. This pure mixture is then pumped into a much taller storage tank called a buffer tank. It would then be slowly transferred into a wide tank called a precipitation That's tank. That's awesome, Andrea. Be happy with your fiancé. The design Yay. of the buffer tank prevented Yay. the fuel from going critical because of its total so shape and the fact that the mixture wasn't properly yeah. mixed yet. The purpose of this design was to control the flow of mixture into the larger precipitation tank to prevent the mixture from going critical as it was stirred mechanically. 
Okay. The approved What's up, concentration of the uranium powder for this process was 5%. Three years prior to this date, the JCO company had modified the official procedure so that the urinal nitrate solution could be made in stainless steel buckets by hand rather than placing the ingredients into the dissolution tank. By hand? This was illegal and against government regulations, yeah. but had never led to any accidents due to the low concentration Yet. of uranium which was used. Insane. By hand. Yeah. That seems like a real bad idea. Oh my god, yeah. I'm trying to understand really, nuclear physics. Really, really dangerous bad idea. This is the most radioactive man in history. Yep. And he just starts decaying. That's insane. It is. When the three workers arrived that day, the plant was already two days behind schedule for delivery of the nuclear fuel rod. Hi, Sammy. The company put pressure on staff to complete the procedure as quick as possible. And so the technicians modified the procedure even further. Oh, they were now mixing Sky the Woman. urinal nitrate solution in steel buckets and pouring it directly into the large precipitation oh, tank. That's so They were also using no. a urinal concentration much higher than anyone previously that's had so safe. in order to create the fuel um, as fast as possible. Please notice me. Yes. Does anyone else think Shamu knows this content is trash, but that people will watch anyway just in case chaos ensues, or is she just this dumb? She she's not dumb. A little both. Yeah, she I think she knows what she's doing. She was generating enough heat to start a self-sustaining nuclear chain reaction and sent out blasts of gamma and neutron radiation. Oh, she absorbed the Nuclear highest dose of radiation hole. as he had his what? body pressed against the tank to assist in pouring. Mm -hmm. While Shinohara was standing on a platform pouring the liquid into the tank, Yokokawa was sitting at a desk a few feet away and received the smallest dose of radiation. The internationally oh, acknowledged sorry, radiation Jellybean. safety limit per person per year is 20 millisieverts. The dose considered I don't think so. I think that this is a new one, but I could be wrong because I didn't watch the whole one last night. Thousand millisieverts of radiation, three times the amount considered lethal. Oh my God! Shinohara received ten thousand and Yokokara three thousand. We got a cup, Jules. Thanks, Jules. No oh, fuck my life. Did you do that? Still. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, I this love is it too. amazing, Jules. <laughs> I love it too. Yeah, it's super cute. It made Dr. Cute. Pepper colder. Right? <sighs> Such good quality. Great. It's awesome. Fat Yoshi. That's correct. I love it. I love it too. Great. Can you drink a Baja Blast out of it? Yeah. Oh, oh thank that. you, I would Nicole. Assume. Can we get some Taco Bell? I appreciate oh, it. No. Stop begging. I, I, it's not begging. What's up, Brady and <laughs> Shadow? <laughs> How are you doing today? Stop begging. You can only beg when I tell you to beg. Right? <laughs> I'm make you do begging videos. Almost immediately, Ouchi and Shinohara felt waves of pain and Kaiser nausea bonkers. and both struggled to yep. breathe. And the three men fled to a nearby changing room where Ouchi vomited and passed out. Oh, thank you, Billy. Say no more, Carrie. You're getting that cup. Oh, thank you, Billy. Thank you for the super chat. The University of Tokyo Hospital, as it had one of the coffee drink you can call it. Right? And cutting edge procedures and treatments. I want the link to buy it. Yeah, she wants one. I don't yeah. Know, I don't blame her. It's cool as shit. It is. When the nurses initially tended to her, Red she, is her service dog. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Admiral, that was a good one. Yeah. What's up, girl next door? How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. He was also alert, talkative, and friendly. One of the nurses wow. commented that she thought that he might be able to go home that day. God. 
I'm not going to sell feed pics. That's weird. Ew. <sighs> no, it's more than that, Drag. I ha I was donating plasma. When? When and did you donate plasma, Rev? I don't buy that. So I got I to gotta figure out a fucking mechanic. Mm -hmm. That's my thing. Yes, it wasn't until stop. the test results came back that the real problem was revealed. The human body is maintained by a function of many different cell types being shed or excreted and then replaced by a new cell. Oh, thank you, girl next door, for the super chat. You said, I'm doing great, working hard. Can you imagine it? Work? <laughs> Laugh out loud. Also, fuck Shani and Rev. Thank you, girl next door. And no, they cannot imagine work at all. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Most of the size and magnitude of the problem. Normal chromosomes can be arranged and identified quite easily, but Orucci's chromosomes have been decimated by radiation, leaving them really? unorganized, malformed, mutated, and in some cases fused. The radiation what? had literally ripped apart his DNA. What? It ripped apart his DNA and scrambled it. How how did he live through that? Did he live through it? I don't know. Well, you live for a while, but like once well, your cells well. die, like, yeah. like your cells that you have die, you're not producing new cells because your DNA is fucked up. So you have right? mutated like cells. Oh. Like that. So there's like a latent period of two yeah, weeks. Yeah, I've heard of such a thing. This is nuts. This that your cells will guy. live and yeah, it and, is. Um, and producing and new ones. scrambled it to the point where the cell instructions were no longer usable inside his body. What? While his body could no longer create new cells, it did still have a supply of cells which had been created before oh, the radiation awful, had guys. destroyed his chromosomes. He does pass away, I guess. This explained why his outward appearance looked healthy. When oh my god, that's awful, Painless. Oh, Hi, Joe. How are you doing? He would just decay. Oguchi's white blood cell count plummeted to 10% of what is considered normal and healthy, making him very vulnerable to viral and bacterial infections. To prevent this, he was moved into a sterile room. Dr. Mayakao was the doctor in charge of the team who would attempt to save Oguchi's life. Their first priority was Oruchi's inability to generate new cells. Without this, saving Oruchi's life would be impossible. After some discussion, Dr. Mayakawa suggested that the best course of action would be to try an experimental new procedure called peripheral blood stem cell transplantation. This is a procedure in which the healthy stem cells are harvested from okay, the Okay, so here's what I think we're going to do. I'm going to watch, we'll watch a couple more um, palate cleansers. And then I think I'm going to wrap this up because they're just being so fucking boring, dude. I don't think I can Natural. sit through it much longer. And so they began yeah, testing potential. Just watching dogs. idiots react to stuff that's Which way over their head. Yeah. Match. Okay. And so healthy Let cells me, um, were harvested from her and administered to him through an IV. It show. would be 10 days before the team would know if the treatment was working. Knowing that the chances of success were slim and the family were likely to cling to any faint hopes. Dr. Mike Howard allowed the family to see Oruchi on a daily basis in the hope that seeing his rapid decline would help them to accept the reality of what was happening. The machines to give it to you to your question. Yeah. Because they are no killing of the actors, they are very so so you have to say, you know, show this no day. It can be a lot of change or a lot of Oruchi seemed either in a state of denial or obliviousness about his condition. As he asked the nurse, when you're exposed to radiation like this, is there a risk of contracting leukemia or something? Okay. Demonstrating that he didn't understand here. that it was unlikely he would live long enough. Boop. We'll turn that down real quick. And... Do you have you seen any of um, Rev's Jason Avocado's videos where he mukbangs or whatever on camera? Uh, from time to time, like when that sets archive includes it in some yeah. of Shani can't cook uh, stuff. 
Yes. But uh, they're they're kind of hard to find, so no, I haven't seen too many. Well, last night, I haven't seen too many of them either. Um, we watched one last night, and it was hilarious. So I haven't seen this one, but we'll give it a watch together and uh, see what you what you guys okay. think. His it's um, his mukbang, and it's leftover spaghetti carbonara. Carbonara. Yum, so we'll see. But Shani made it, so... You know, it's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know they are avocados brand uh, mukbang. Avocados. For How you doing? Yes, avocados I have. Avocados for individuals. Just another thing that Rev stole, basically, and he does not All have an that, original yeah. thought in his body, None. like never. He's got to do the Don't individual fucking sure bullshit. And... Mm-hmm. But what you have to understand is I usually get at least two or three good days out of a shirt. I wouldn't even mention it, but I know it will be mentioned. So anyway. Okay. Now. That is pig. Nice silverware. I don't normally eat pig, but when you're broke and you don't have anything to eat, you eat what you got. Oh my God! Why do I not eat pig? Oh please! Of course, Shannon made the like, best ever. Right when he when he does these, it's like um he acts like literally he has never ate anything better in his life, and it's like don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that it's not good. Like I'm sure she does cook something the over good, the top with it because Shannon's so gonna be far. so upset if you don't freak and, out how awesome it is. And watch him too because she's off camera and you can tell he can he constantly will look at her and like talk to her rather than the camera. Like he's really laying it on thick for her, you know. Oh my god, the flavor. Flavor town. And it's like um blue, I showed that last night. The thing with Vaughn blaming the trolls for midnight oh, midnight's dead puppies. I saw last night we watched the thing where um, he was blaming the trolls and like David Anthony and you, people on YouTube for his for midnight passing away because you know midnight passed away what not last night but the night before. Um, so I did see that, but I'll have to check out the other thing to play it. Steaming. Oh, it's steaming, fuck. It's steep. I didn't put the 16 <laughs> frames per second on. You could still... The iPhone camera is so good, you could probably see the steam oh, coming it's off. Oh, my wow. God. Right? So amazing. Well, did you now, put from, steam if in I it? were my grandfather, Davis, I would have a spoon as well, and I'd be doing this thing. Plastic fork and spoon. This thing. Right, so fancy. Too lazy to fucking wash it. Mm-hmm. And keep in mind, too, watching these... That literally, that nasty ass litter box is literally okay. like right next to this. Like right in there. There's no way you're not smelling that while you're right. They, they must just be like immune to the smell or whatever at that point. Look, oh, it's just amazing. No, fuck that. Baby bites, no. Oh, <laughs> God, Fuck that, no, baby everyone. Nice. Okay, if you like Shani's cooking show, every person that watches her has to try this one. <laughs> every person, pasta noodles with 20 pounds of cheese. Wow, oh my. You're an Italian. <laughs> no, it's <you're> mine. <laughs> okay? That's what? the only way you can make a dish like this so perfect. Oh, dude. It's so oh. down. It's oh like it's homemade God. pasta. And she it's rolled it. Look at it. It's just pasta with pasta pork. Pasta with, like, cut and up cheese. ham and cheese. Like, bro. <laughs> wow, There's dude. It's nothing that amazing. Shani's got him trained well. It's in your mouth, trust me. You better make this look like it's the best thing you ever ate, or I will get slappy with you. 
this whole mook bang okay, is just for all crazy the shanty. Right? Just say you don't make good food. Dude, the food. You shuffling it in, yeah. You don't have a clue. Uh, what? Talk about shanty and defend haters her honor. For all the you don't make good food. Dude, you don't even have a clue. Wait, what did he just say? You want this in your mouth, trust me. Okay, for all the haters that say she don't make good food. Dude, you don't even have a... You don't have a clue. So this is for the haters. It's, so now it makes sense that he's going so over the top. Because people were saying that it didn't look good. So now he's got to argue mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. It's all about Shani, this video. Oh my god! But see, the secret ingredient to Shani's cooking is Shani love. And only I and the boys get to taste that. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. That's the secret Shani. ingredient is Shani's love. That's oh the secret God. ingredient. Maybe... Shani's love. That and cat hair and freaking nasty shit that's underneath her fingernails getting in everything. Ugh. And, ugh. Nick will Gross. get a sprinkle of her love. I think he would. Nick would get a sprinkle of love in the food, too. Definitely. And Orlin. So, see, he's got to start talking about Nikocado Avocado. Stop it. Oh my God. Stop it, Rev. My God. This might be my final mukbang. <laughs> like... This is what? depressing a little bit to me, though, for one reason. Because there's meat in here. And I know how much I love meat. So am I loving this ten times? Oh, man, you even put banana peppers in there. Oh! Wow. Rev. All right, this is like... You're making it not believable because you're just going too far with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like over the top, dude. It's so stop. much. Ugh. 50 a plate. If you had a restaurant, 12 50 a plate. 12 50 Man, that's you know really pricing for Wow. Pot. Yeah, I was going to say, that's pretty cheap. Pasta <laughs> Shannon, you do. You usually pay what eight bucks a plate for pasta in a in a Where? fair restaurant. Where? You don't even pay eight <laughs> bucks for pasta at freaking Olive Garden. <laughs> you wouldn't even pay that probably at Fazoli's or like Domino's or something for for pasta. Like, what is he talking about? At a diner, right? Eight bucks for a plate of spaghetti. Yeah, this... you know, at diners they usually have a lot of spaghetti. Like, what diner do you know that's? Most of them don't. They're gonna have like burgers and milkshakes. Is a thirteen fifty plate, dude? Oh, thirteen fifty now. Oh, and you guys will see the picture. Isn't her food beautiful too? Cause I'm proving this to you. <laughs> no, you're not. I am proving <laughs> that she makes food that looks and tastes good to you. I'm proving it. You see him looking off camera. God, at her? it's so weird. That's like so weird. Is like watch that he is like really looking off camera to, to make sure he's doing because i'm proving right. this to you <laughs> i am proving that she makes food that looks and tastes good to you i'm proving it what does she do to you does she beat you that is or so is it just scary. will she that not is... shut up unless you do this and all you're gonna hear is her whining you don't appreciate my food right it's good cooking. <laughs> and I know her ex would say the same, that she's an awesome what? cook. I guarantee. Everyone would say what? it. What? Why are oh, you bringing up her ex? That's so weird. What the hell? He would say yes. He's going, okay. he's taking it that fucking far. Like, it wasn't, so it wasn't enough that he was doing, but now he's got to say, oh, I'm sure her ex would agree. Like, what? So enough with the with the stuff. Oh, enough with the stuff. So that is what it is. People were talking about it. He had to come on here to defend Shani's honor and act like it's just amazing. Like, God, they are so predictable, see through. She's like, so pathetic that she has to have that constant right. admiration. Very, right, very insecure.
I'm not worthy of this food, really. Oh my god. What does it what? taste it's like? It's made like, so masterfully. This tell is the us type about of dinner that. that a guy. Right. No, he's not saying anything like that. It's just I think this is great. I'm not worthy. I this so her ex would like it. Like what? Talk about the flavor and like the ingredients and what about it that you specifically that you like? Working his ass off would come home to. Well, that you can't relate to that, can you? Hold on, I gotta hear that again. It's made so masterfully. This is the type of dinner that a guy that's working his ass off would come home to. That's a weird thing to say, Rev. Wow. <laughs> um, You've never worked a day in your life, so right. That's a very strange comment. Yeah, and that uh, is something I guess you're never gonna have to worry about, right, Rev? But I'm gonna be doing that soon, so I guess I. I'll earn it. I'll earn it. Wow. That did not age well, folks. No, it did not. That did not age well. Because a guy should earn a meal like this. It's to be earned. It's not just, oh, you're my wife. Go fuck it. You know, sorry. Some guys are like, well, I'm a man, you're a woman, Get you should be barefoot, pregnant, in the kitchen, making me a sandwich, and shut your mouth. I'm not like that at all. And I don't even know where that comes from. Like, I, I appreciate my girl a lot. Oh, that's just me. Like, that's mo that's me. That's just me. It's him. Right. Pork. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Yeah, That's he's gonna need his whole bottle of Pepto after this meal, right? You made it taste like like a slow cooked cured meat. It tastes slow cooked. Like I don't know how you did this. You did That's this. What happens in 10 when you minutes. open a like, package of cooked ham, just cut it and throw it in. Right. You didn't do anything but just throw things in there. Right. Prepared already hand. This is like a slow pork chop where the hell like, it is. What? what are you talking about, Rev? Like, come on. I'm blown away. Blown I am away. literally blown away by this. God, he makes this boring too. I know. And this is the cold you're, pasta. You're trying to be Nicado Avocado, aren't you? Trying like. Actually. Yeah, did you not watch his stuff to copy that? He just that stole the right? name? Right. Pretty much. Pretty much. And that's from Frozen Ham because we. Yeah. Shanny's smart. Shanny's smart. Like when we, we had money. Mm -hmm. She came with me to the store like once. When we had money, she came with me to the store like once. Wait, what? Once. Hold on. Yeah, she had me smart. Like when we, f we had money, she came with me to the store like once. And we got a huge order and she put stuff in the freezer. So we, we're fed because you're smart. That's why we're so fed. So two adults, two children, we're she went shopping up. once the entire right. time. Right. The fuck are they eating then? Right. Not Sounds cooking anything. Right. They went shopping right. once Door together. Door dashing everything. Out of EBT right now, guys. The cooking show. I mean, part of the cooking show is that, you know. But hey, you're doing it. You're doing it. Oh man, mushrooms would have been oh so yeah, good. right. Oh. He said, Carrie, you should find that old video where Shani was telling Rev that she is an amazing cook and she will make him homemade food every day for him. It was before they met in real life. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, that's funny. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that. Oh.
Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. I don't, you know how Hannah's been wanting to make chapels? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that one next, Painless. Craft macaroni, craft cheese, and the bologna that's in there, and make chapels out of that. Wow. I don't, I'm already having a cheat day with meat, so if you want to try that, yeah. No, I'm not doing that today. Oh, yeah, okay, that's not today, right? Okay. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, right. EBT chaffles. Oh, hilarious. Man. Oh my god. It's hilarious. You can't get a job to actually feed yourself. You buy your own food. You need assistance for that. Every bite. Right. <clears throat> Some people say I eat like a homeless man. <laughs> what does that mean? That's the issue. You don't understand it. Anyway. Mm. I clean my plate, mommy. Mm -hmm. Weird. How does one eat like a homeless man? I'm done. Never mind. Forget what? That. Now you really are eating like one, aren't you? I eat like an old man, actually. How so? I eat like my grandfather Davis now. Oh my god, he's licking it. We get the point, Rev. Alright, that's your best dish. For me, that's number one so far. Avocados. Wow. Avocados. God. Did I do it right, Shani? Was that good? Right. I cleaned my plate. Shani. You're the best, Shani. Your food is just the best. It's the best thing I've ever ate in my life. Uh -huh. right. And so, again, what's the difference between, you know, for a complete novice, a, between a semi-automatic and a full automatic? Uh, a fully automatic is continuous fire. Okay. And uh, semi-automatic is single fire. So every time you pull a tree, you only pull once. <coughs> well, he knows his facts for being such a young dude. Yeah. That's true. Too, he knows them a little too much. Maybe. He's a good girl. That's a baby. Oh. Yeah, he's oh. a good baby. That arm. You get that mm. on her. Oh. Yeah, and she claims she's lost all this weight. It looks exactly like it did in that thing oh. that was from years ago. It looks like it hurt. <laughs> right? She's like, fuck you, bitch. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. Whatever. Okay, so does it mean you have to pull for each time you fire it, or is so it doing it on, on, on its own? Something like that. Okay. Well, if you're yeah. fully automatic, you just hold on as strong as possible until the rounds are completely empty. Okay. Okay, okay I'll fill it. So, before you do that, I'm just going to check your reading, okay, a little bit. Do you like reading, Nick? Okay. And so, uh, I'm going to ask you to read out a few things out, uh, out loud. Okay. 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 And I just want to make sure you can read all these questions okay, all right? So I'm just checking out your reading. So let's see. I don't know if you like uh, African animals or anything like that, but this is, a book. Like it. this is a book on, let's see if I can find one that might be interesting to you. Anything, really. <laughs> do, you, do, you like, do you like reading or do you like animals or what's... Oh, I like animals. Okay, let's do this one. What the hell are you doing, what dude? What are you doing? Is this like the do you was, like do you like animals approach yeah. to like a fucking interrogation or some weird shit like that? Yeah. Do you like animals? Yeah, I like animals. I like animals. Let me show you this latest edition of highlights here. All right, now you can get a monthly subscription to this. You just ask your mom. You know, this is beautiful stuff. It's twelve ninety five a month. It's twelve ninety five a month, and you see all these animals. It's wonderful, isn't it? Sofa king. Like, mm -hmm. right the on, only time Shani burns highlight. calories is when she sleeps and takes a crap. Fine. Both at the same time. She shits herself while she sleeps. Oh god. Oh god. You might need your glasses because you need to take off my mask. She does. 
So just start kind of here and read the first couple of paragraphs okay. for me. Indeed, when it comes to the question of which land animal was fastest, the cheetah wins paws down. It relies on its record-setting speed to chase down prey. Yeah. Unlike other cats, the cheetah usually hunts during the day. Cat does its best to get within 150 feet of its potential of prey, which is less than half the length of American football field, and then quickly rubs up to its friend. If the cheetah succeeds in bringing down its target, it snatches draws down on the animal's throat, cutting it off its air supply. Before digging in, the cat usually moves its meal to an area by a tree. Okay, you're doing fine, yeah. I just wanted to make sure I've, uh, that if I gave you this question, maybe you could read all the questions, but I got it. I'm, I'm, I'm confident you can. So, I think time's personal. What the fuck was that about? Are I testing his cognitive ability? Like, can you read? That was weird. What a moment. You haven't seen this guy before? No, I haven't either. No, we're just discovering it. Mmm, pizza. Pizza. Mmm. Mexican. Oh, Taco Bell. Mm. Baja Black. You're right, okay. So, you went there, and how did the how did you right. your class? Here's what we're gonna Zach do. Zach Rose is animated as he answers questions about... We're gonna watch one more, guys, and then I'm gonna wrap this up. I, I'm just... Like, I'm not in the mood for them right now. It's too boring. Um, But I want to play one more thing before we go. This is their... And I, I, I know we've watched this together before some, but just yeah. in case anybody in the chat in, it has not um, seen this, this is Rev and Shani when they were coming from Colorado to Pennsylvania, and they're doing a White Castle mukbang. Oh, the White so, Castle mukbang. Yeah. Yeah. That's so over the top again. It is. But at least it's it not is. Shani's it's food. One. But No, yeah. But yeah. It shows yeah. more like he has no thought process in his head to critique food right. and do a review on it. Yeah. And then there's a part where he, it really shows how he feels about the kids too, once again. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's watch this. Oh my God. Avocado mukbang of a century. A major avocado situation for individuals to understand oh, and, 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 and make this understood. I know. <laughs> Danny, can we testify Yes. that we found a White Castle just randomly? Wow. Yes. You're amazing. White Castle mukbang yes. on the so road hard trip. To find. Right? Road trip White Castle mukbang. Oh, oh my god, that is so good. It never happens. Mr. Will. Mm. Uh, Tracy. <laughs> yeah. Tracy, it was Drader's channel. Um, I will grab the link again for you in just a second. One second. But that's who that was. That was Drader's video. He's but watch about to freak at the boy. Yeah, the, the watch not... right. Watch this part coming up right here because he's going to hand the kid food and the kid doesn't go fast enough and yeah you can just tell how little patience that rev has for these kids road trip that's how he White acts on camera you can only imagine when the camera's not on how he treats oh, these yeah. children oh yeah exactly oh my, oh my god. god that is so good mr will mm. hold here here God, such oh, a jerk. I'm not like, a 40 year old man child. God, such a jerk. Like, literally, he could not just it, like holding it up there for just a second. Too much work for him. You're taking too long. Throws it back there at him. Like, what a jerk. Mr. Zach. And you got to love their packing job they did here for the move. I mean, you can just see there's like loose clothes here. The cat's just up on top of the bags and stuff. Like, I don't see nah. big screen TVs or computers. Couldn't nope. bring that. Nope. Whoa. Miss Shannon. Oh my God. Can you see the bag? Oh my God. Can you see it? Oh my. It's the 100th birthday I of White Castle. The... Look at the boxes. It says 100th birthday. Uh -huh. When? Just Look, today. 100th this birthday. Month? It's right. Yeah, it's so stupid. Like, it's probably something that's on the bag for like the whole year. We showed up here, Shani, on the 100th birthday just today. Right. Look We're so special. Can't believe we made it. On the bag. 100th birthday. Oh, my God. We're going to have White Castle on its 100th birthday? Wow. Yep. For these people. My God. What? 
the I fries. Jesus loves us. Right? She does. Oh my God, the fries, folks. That we're going in for fries. Love you, cheese, av avocado. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. This is religious. Oh my God. This is spiritual and religious. Look at that. Oh, it so says, I'm so sorry, watermelon, but that's not religious. <laughs> Look, the child what? knows. <laughs> the child knows that Rev is a fucking dullard. Look at this guy. Just look at this guy, too. Beautiful. I'm gonna like that was seizure. Oh my god. He drives a car, people. Look at this idiot. I mean, wow. Wow. God. What does it say? Oh god. Did you see the teeth? Hold on. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah look at that. Zoom in on that. It's, it's so, so beautiful. beautiful. I'm gonna like Years that was seizure. Flat. Oh my god. Never Oops, what did I press? Hold on. What is this? There it is. Look at the teeth. Oh. Y'all. All that build up, dude. Look. That feels so nasty. Like, and if you don't brush your teeth one night, you have that like crap on your teeth. You feel gross. Yeah. He's not brushing those teeth. He's not brushing them at all. Like, you can look at it and tell. And the fact that he still like is like, yeah, it's a good idea for me to smile as big as I can. Like, oh, no, no, dude. Run a brush through that. To say, got your <laughs> own story worth the Cranvers Hall of Fame. Submit your whitecastle.com chop. Oh. Dude, we could submit this mm. video that I'm doing right now mm -hmm. onto this because it would show a, a, a story of White Castle. Good. On their birthday. Oh White my God. Castle is the best fast food in the world. Let the slider grations begin. I Celebrate WhiteCastleTurns100.com. Oh, right. Cravers White Castle Hall of Fame. I do. There's two Never sliders. Never sounded so true. There's two sliders in each. Oh my God. After oh. graduating college, Stefan surprised Gabriel with a limo ride to a white table Limo. clothed dinner at White Castle, complete with engagement at ring him. at the end. Like, Rev, dude, you don't have to, like, just inhale it. Take take bites. Chew. Some people say he's like a homeless person. So fucking good. Oh, my God. No. Thank you, Carlos. What oh, is wrong my God. Oh. It's like a cream soda thing. The onions. It's a Fanta. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Fiesta party Fanta. I'm going to try it. Oh, All this right. Is great here. Let's options. have this mouth gasm. Oh, it's so nice, Daddy. Mm. Mm. What's wrong? Oh my face. god. Oh my god. Look at this man. <laughs> she went cross-eyed. Look at her. Look at them. Oh my god. They're a match for each other. Like perfect, they are. Dude. They really it's are. Cute. Oh my god! I don't know, maybe we're wrong That's here. Maybe best. White Castle is, this is this just the most amazing like, thing ever. Crack, basically. It really is. This is literally. This is a religious experience. This is the best, man. Oh Re my god. Oh my god. Oh, now I know why they fucking crave this. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The fries. I know. There's a watermelon. Just leave her alone. Squirrel. There's a watermelon over here. Here's your baby girl. Stay where you are. Watermelon, no. Oh my god, what? This is why I. Just let her go under the chair. Yeah. That would work. 
She'll be fine. And she's safe there. Exactly. What? Four number ones, man. It is the best, dude. It's so good. It's religious. Harold Bro, and Kumar. It's so good. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Oh my Were god. Were you too famous, y'all? I'm doing a mukbang video. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> Who's he talking to? Some That's random. Oh my Jason. god. This is the best stoner food to ever fucking exist. Oh my god. I know. Mm. Oh my god. Uh, uh, that. Oh. Too much. Oh, I really haven't been eating that much out there. Oh. Not okay, no. okay I back there. That has been one trauma after another trauma. And we you got watermelon. Sorry about that. Mm. And the That's river started. dude. <laughs> oh god, it's such good. It's so I oh the fries. No, 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 you don't understand. You have to like experience Fries high. This is spiritual. You have to experience these fries high. Wow. Your kids she are right there. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, look. Mother of the year here, guys. Folks, the, the design is just. Oh, look, my God. It's the boxes, and they put them two on top of each other, and boom, you get two barkers. Look and at the barkers. This is fucking wonderful. Someone try to set me up. With Mrs. With, uh, meeting Mrs. fucking wonderful. Someone set me up like that right now. I always say that individuals need to eat white castle. You need to eat a white castle hamburger. Ew. Seven. So gross. Loving their God. Their own spot. Yeah. Oh my God. This is officially the best mukbang Ew. I've done that is Ew. not my, oh my God. That is not my wife's food. Ugh. Gotta say that. Look this is the best it. fast food restaurant of all. Oh. I want to give a shout out to Libby Higgins and Trailer Trailer Trash Tanny and Nikocado Avocado and Orland Home and all muckbangers around the world. Shut Hungry up. Fat Chick, we love you. Right? Right? How are you boys liking you it? You like it? We're YouTube famous just like you. We're YouTube famous. Okay. Don't worry about her. She's fine. She's just adjusting herself. She's fine. Can you just trust me about the cat? You can't shut up. Don't worry about it. You're just having your anxiety get to you. Yeah. Okay. Kids up, Jenny. Good job. Wow. Wow. Ew, look how dirty his nails are, too. Oof. Gross. It's okay, little man. Okay. I want watermelon's her. just fine. I'm watching her. 733. Thank you, Jesus, you for the food. We cool watermelon. Avocados. What do you think? Wow. Amazing. Just amazing, guys. Oh, so um, weird. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up, guys. They are just being way too boring today to even try to fool with it. Um, but thank you guys for coming and watching. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me. Are, Thanks for having you, me on. Do you think that we're going to go live on the podcast tonight or this evening? Or what's the thought on that? Yeah, I've been trying to see what TJ's schedule is and work that out and get some time. So I'll, yeah. I'll message you on Discord there. We're definitely, definitely. going to talk something tonight. Yeah, cool. definitely do that. Very and, early. Yeah, definitely do that. I'll um, post something in my um, community tab about it so that you guys see. Oh, sweet. Yeah. And if you do, you have the link. Do you want to drop the link for everybody? To um... I haven't uh, set up a stream, but I, I can drop a link for the channel. Yeah. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. Drop a link that way. If any of you guys haven't um, went over and went to the goddamn podcast channel, um, we do streams every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, but they we also do stuff. At other times, it just kind of depends. Um, we cover Shanny stuff, but we cover a lot of other stuff as well. Um, so definitely come. It's a good time. And uh, we would enjoy you guys coming and hanging out with us. Um, Absolutely. Have some fun. So, yeah. He just dropped the link in the chat for the podcast. So you can go check out um, the channel. And you can even go check out some of our previous podcasts that we've done if you want to do that.
um, then we'll just see you guys in a little bit. But um, thanks again for coming. And I don't know. If, Anytime. If, yeah. I don't know if Please Notice Me is still in the chat. But um, I'm going to close on one of their songs and videos nice. instead of one of Rev and Shanny this time. Um, it's one of my favorites. You might have seen it before, but it never gets old to me. So thanks again, guys. And I will be talking to you guys later. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 And a grew up being with a big old horse with some big old hooves that won't get the fuck out of my bed. She's me, here is blue. She just wants to fuck with you. She wants your money and she wants your cash and she don't want her kids because she gave them away. She made me cut my hair and shave off my eyebrows. And that is what I get for living with a rose cow. I'm the Reverend to an individual. I ain't here to see who is wrong. I can rhyme anything with individual because I can't think the same thought for three seconds. I'm Rev. I'm Rev and I'm driving a car. I'm getting some gas and I'm buying some vapes and I'm gonna drink coffee all, all the fucking day. I'm Rev. The dude individual. I ain't got shit to do. I just sit around. Making shit up and waiting for aliens with you. Get on my YouTube, watch all my videos, send me money at my PayPal. I don't want to get a job, and if I got a job, I will freak everybody out. And you know it, I know it, they know it. The ghost of my motherfucking mother even knows it. That bitch is haunting my car. Sit down. I need help.